Okay, I think we're basically ready. <coughs> let me see. All right, let me swap it over. Can't wait to see what we get into today. Huh. We got this. Oh, my uh my got to turn that off. Oh, there, there was an echo there. <laughs> All right. So last time we defeated, uh, it's not Crusher, Jammer. We defeated Jammer, and now we're up against. Do we even know his name? Junk Man. Yeah, Junk Man. We know. At least I'm pretty sure we knew that. Anyway. And there, right now, there's a bunch of junk in the Yumland area. So we're just gonna try to help out. That's all. I think the only way we can really get there right now is to just use the hotel and enter the, uh, you know, go to Netopia area and then go to Yum Land from there. So who knew? Uh, I thought this HP was locked, but it's being used for the tournament. We probably won't be able to get a shortcut till after the tournament. Hi, you're the representative from Electopia, right? I watched you at the Hawk tournament. Good luck. Cool. I must consistently, uh, constantly keep this HP clean. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> And of course, there's always the chat boards you can read, but, like, I think they're just extra dialogue, more or less. So, if I knew I was gonna go to Junkman, I could have saved buying the wing parts for here. But here's the thing, I thought for sure I was gonna go after Proto Man. Like, I remember, like, every time I tried this, it was Proto Man. Looks like a lot of things happened at round one. I just love it when the when the unexpected happens. Of course, I hate when it happens to me. Don't we all? Well, anyway. It's not that bad. Still need to go to Sharo to uh, get the board made, but you know. It's all good. Too bad I didn't get a double delete, but it's all good. Alright. Lumps of all kinds of trash data. Mm. Sheesh, I hope it doesn't start raining junk data. Gotta be careful. And I'm so busy. Is there anything I could do to help? Huh? You? Nah, don't worry about it. But you're busy with the tournament, aren't you? Uh, sure, why not? Huh? Okay. Here, take this key to the door. Thanks for helping. Junkyards up ahead, Lan. Start operating me. Okay, let's go check it out. What? Look out, Mega Man! Th that was close, if that hit. Thank you, Lan. Let's hurry on ahead. <coughs> There's something wrong. Okay. Oh, those are close calls, honestly. It stopped falling. Great. Let's check out the area, Mega Man. Okay. I don't see anything but trash data, Lan. But where did it all come from? Well, we took a look at it already. Let's check out for now. Okay, I'll check. Mega Man! Mega Man, are you there? Answer me! Mega Man! Mega Man! Mega Man, is that you? Mega Man! Yeah? I barely checked out in time. What a relief. I didn't. I don't know what uh, what I do without you. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, phew. But isn't something? Isn't there something different? No, not a thing. Nothing. Are you sure you're Mega Man? Um, of course. Oh, by the way, why don't we withdraw from the tourney? My head feels all groggy. I don't think I can fight. You're kidding. I don't want to push you too hard. 
Oh, well, I guess we have to withdraw from this tourney. <laughs> uh, are you really, really, really sure you're Mega Man? Of course I am. Let's hurry up and withdraw from the tourney and relax. Maybe his personality was changed by the shock of the accident. But there's something strange about him. I better keep talking and see how he is. Yo, Lan! Who cares about the, about tournaments? Let's just forfeit. Are you, are you sure you're really Mega Man? You talking to me, kid? I is Mega Man. Uh, okay. Now, what do you want? I'll ask you one more time. Are you really Mega Man? Are you tripping, kid? Of course I is. Something's not right. <laughs> Stop sweating me. You are not doubting my identity, are you? That's it. Mega Man, do you remember that last math test? What was my grade? W what Uh... I have the multiple choice? Uh... Lan is not that... No, he just doesn't really do the homework, but was he really that bad at math? My gut says 35, but it might be 75, because he's not that inept. Sorry, wrong answer. Mega Man will have no problem answering that. Maybe all of them are wrong. I don't know. Who are you? Uh, pretty clever. The name's Junkman. I'm the new owner of Mega Man's body. W what? So you, where's the real Mega Man? By now his ID chip's under a pile of trash in Yumland area. Go get me that chip right this instant. Who? Me? Who else? If you don't like it, I'll operate you myself. Go ahead and try. Don't expect me to cooperate, though. That's how you want it? Fine. Go to Yumland area now. Make me. Why, you little? When I say go, I mean it. So we have someone taking control of Mega Man. Chuckman's taking control of Mega Man's body. What an interesting turn of events! Also, I have full control right now. <laughs> so he's not taking control of Mega Man when, you know, on the overworld so far. Hi, Molly. Okay. Let's start with this. We'll get... Boomerang? Yeah, Boomerang. Wait, no. Flame line. We'll go with Flame line. So, he makes Mega Man confused. Which reverses your controls. I think it's a permanent thing. I don't think it's like a temporary status effect. Right, Molly? We're Boom. You think your controls would be confused on the overall, but that'd be even more annoying. But easy to handle, honestly. Let's get that green mystery data. Alright. Honestly, confusion is not the worst thing to deal with. Yeah. Heat VD. Okay. Chunk man, get this trash day out of the way. Out of here. Out of the way. Nothing for it. The virus has broken out from inside the smashed junk. Okay. Well, we could go with Bubble... Uh, Aquaman? I was about to say Bubble Man, but that's not right. Not like the counter got me the... Now I gotta play this carefully. There we go. Done. 
virus has broken out of the junk data. That's just gonna be a thing. Okay. Let's start with air hockey. I want to wait till I have a couple open spots. Oh, the confusion is temporary. Okay. Um, I could go with Aqua Soul and then Boomerang. Actually. No. Let's just go Woodman. Something a little bit different. I can even get my health back up a little bit. Jeez. One fifty. I think that would have been like 160 damage. Takes a long time to charge up, though. Okay. Well, I we can safely go with Aqua Soul. We can go with this. the last one. Oh, we gotta deal with the jumping guy. That's that's gonna be annoying. Let's go to number man and flame line hockey puck. We got rid of the jumping guy. There we go. Give me back my body. Give me my body back. Junk man, get out of Mega Man's body. Dang, so the game's over already. M Mega Man, I am Junk Man. I am your opponent. How do you like the place of my birth? Place of your birth? I was born in this junkyard. Alone. Nobody knew I was here until now. Do you know what it is like to live covered in other people's filth? I can't stand the thought of nabbies like you, living the easy life. So enjoy talking with your operator now. You will die after the match ends. <laughs> Nobody knew. Mega Man, hurry back to your body. Okay. What an odd Navi taking over, taking over other Navis like that. I want to tear that guy apart. What is it? Well, I don't really hate Junk Man. I had time to think about all sorts of things while locked up with the junk data. The loneliness is hard to describe with words. Junk Man is suffering. Suffering? Junk man is? I didn't notice it. I don't know how he is suffering, but I kind of understand. I wonder if we can save him somehow. Saw an image of a big person lying down in the junk. I think it's from the real world. I have a feeling it might be the key to save junk man. A big person? I don't know, but let's look for him. Thank you, Lan. Time to leave. A big person lying down. We can go to Yumland. Okay. Let's see. What? There's a snake in the drink in the drink bottle on the table. Looks healthy, but it's got some issues with its head. 
The dish is empty, but there's a spicy smell in the air. Reckon they do some pretty spicy food. If you're gonna eat here, you gotta be ready for that. Wait. Uh, they only sell rice, uh, rice wine or super spicy food. It's too strong for kids. Or if you don't like spicy stuff. The smell of bread and, ke and kebab meat sure gets your belly growling. You're a tourist? Youngland's history is as rich as Natopia's. Every year, people from around the world come to visit. I hear the Blue Moon Tournament is going on in Natopia. I wish Yumlang could hold something like that, too. The soothing sight of the statues would relax anyone. As you look at them, somehow your heart feels restful. Nope. <laughs> okay. Beyond here lie Yum Ruins, dating back 1,500 years. They're so fragile, a committee was formed to preserve them. A giant figure of an elephant in a giant elephant figure. Wait. A giant figure of an elephant in a giant elephant figure. Is that... Is that right? Uh, whatever. The power of prayer is not to be underestimated. What is it now? Entry is prohibited behind that point. Oh, fine. Okay. This way. The smell of incense soothes the heart. You feel peace and peaceful and calm. Such a big gathering of statues has a real power to it. Hmm. Wow, this Buddha is humongous. I came here. I come here every year from Electopia. I revere this Buddha feller. Just look at him takes the pain out of my back. Oh, uh, subchip dealer, okay. How many unlockers do I have? I might buy another one. None. I didn't see another unlocker other than the one we got in Sharo, so it's not Seems the statues are here to protect the a big Buddha inside. Actually this this one's face is scarier than the others. The statue was actually built recently. Did you know you could jack in? Really? Hey, this particular statue you... Uh, this particular statue is used for site management. Looks like you could jack in. What do we got in the statue? You have come, uh, come in search of tranquility. Here inside the Great Buddha, tranquility is free for all who to partake of. Just watch out for viruses. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm a member of y of the Yumland Society. We're collecting money to preserve Yum ruins. Would you donate 6,000 zenny to our cause? I don't have 6,000. I'm sorry, but you don't have enough money. Please come back when you have 6,000. I don't remember this. I, uh... I wonder what happens when you have 6,000. Oh, you know what? Think about it. I think I know what happens. I think I know what this actually does. First. Oh, double delete. Very cool. Side bamboo. Okay. Could be useful. Let's grab this. Spin white. I was wondering if there were some uh, spin variants for the Navi customizer. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm I moved up. Come on, game. Um, guess we'll do this. Got him. All right, what's over here? Okay, it's exactly what I thought it would be. The 6,000 Zenny just gives me the code so I can have direct access to the young man. Okay. 
Why the grum glum look? If you're feeling down, you should jack into this Buddha. It will heal your soul. You need permission from Madam Jane to jack in, though. <laughs> She's in the back of the ruin. I can be accessed from the surface. Be sure to show her respect. Such... Uh, smell of incense, yep. So, we need to talk to Madam Jane. There's a Navi who seeks to save his soul. Very well. You may jack into the Buddha. Please proceed. Wait. There's a pattern made up of endless Buddhas. It's so complicated, it draws you in, to, in as you gaze at it. Wait. Uh, close up. You can now see how it's made. You can't tell the clothes and the stuff is, uh, and stuff from real iron. Okay. Blue mystery data? Start with that. There we go. Hi, Molly. What, you want attention? Come here. 2000 Zenny. All right. It looks like Molly needs to go outside. Alright, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Guru Gamer. Oh, I had to step away because my uh, dog needed to go outside. That's all. Oh, wrong controller. Yeah, how's it going? Right now, we are doing the Junk Man scenario. Mega Man got pos uh, Junk Man possessed Mega Man's body, and now we're trying to save him from his loneliness. I know, so tragic. You are troubled, my friend. Tell me what burdens you. Actually, so you saw this Buddha in the fragments of Junk Man's memory. Yes, that's it. This Buddha gives people peace because it is a symbol of kindness or tenderness. This Junk Man may have been seeking kindness in people. Here, take this. Kind data. Okay. This data does not merely give out tenderness. It is designed to help out, uh, to help one come no, uh, help one come to know kindness. However, perhaps Junkman has already noticed. Knows what? Oh, never mind. You better get going. I pray that you two find happiness. Thank you. Let's get back to the Coliseum. Again, we can fly all the way to India. <laughs> in between our matches and then fly back and there's pl plenty of time like that's uh, this is a little ridiculous anyway oh wrong way 
We're about to do the Junkman fight. Didn't take that long. Always make a save, because you never know. Please forgive the long delay, everyone. First, it's Lan, the Electopia representative. So you showed up, Mega Man. Let's get started right away. J junk Man? But where's your operator? I told you, I was born in the junkyard and nobody knew about me. So I need no, I need no operator. I will change all Navi spoiled by operators to junk. So come out now, Mega Man. Junk Man, I want to tell you something before we fight. I saw remnants of your memories in the junk data. You aren't the real you now. I brought this for you. Handed over the kind data. You're looking for kindness. But to get it, you need to be kind yourself, first. You just don't know how. Navi's like you really are spoiled to the core. Do you really think I'm looking for kindness? You hypocrite. Juckman crushed the kind data. Ugh, I don't need any kindness. I've never felt kindness since the day I was born. Let's start the battle now. I must turn you into junk. Let's begin. Lan, no. Mega Man versus Junk Man. Battle routine set. Execute. I'll pulverize you. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember how this fight goes. I think he hangs out in the back. I think that's one thing that happens. We'll go Aqua Soul, we'll throw in air hockey. Then he just summons junk data. Uh, I messed up. Okay, that didn't go well. Let's try that again. Okay, so hitting the junk data causes them to slow down. That can be a bad thing. I can't use this. He's in the back. I can at least hit him with Bubbler for 100 damage. We'll do that. All right. Let's try Var Sword. We'll try it. Chuckman broken. He is broken. Did that work? Uh, Vulcan 2. I can't use Life Sword. I don't have very grab. Three, four, five. I messed that up. I don't think he teleports. I think he just constantly moves up and down. Of course, I got hit before. And this is why I saved before. I can't reach him with gun uh, with gun soul either, or flame line. I right now just need to get rid of stuff. I might have to just Mega Buster it. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to. Here we go. Finally, we got something. Dang it. Nope. Not using those. Dark Cannon for 300 damage. Dark Recovery for 1,000. But if we use either of them, 
we lose one HP permanently. <laughs> I can't move. Go on, finish me. Hurry up! Why don't you do it? I can't do that. You don't have any backup data. If I deleted you, you'd be gone forever. Yeah, so? This is where I decided to die. Don't tell me you wanted to be deleted all along. I wanted to live a glorious life of battle. I'm made of junk data anyway. I don't have long to live. You don't have to do a thing. I'll fade away anyway. I just didn't want to die alone in the junkyard. I couldn't stand it. Just as I thought, enough to talk. It's time to say g goodbye. Junk man, Mega Man. You are a strange Navi to feel sorry for me after what I did to you, but you made me happy. Everyone else who saw me tr saw me treated me like a monster. You are the only one who ever treated me like a Navi. J junk man, y you were right. I was looking for a little, little kindness. I was just ashamed to hear you say it. That's why I'm, I was so cruel to you. I c can't take any more. I'm glad I met you. Your pet is so warm and cozy. A and the winner is Mega Man! Junkman was such a sad Navi. No, he wasn't. All these people were watching over him. In the end, Junkman's soul has touched so many hearts, including mine. And now we have Junk Soul. You're right, Mega Man. Junkman taught me something really important. I took being together with you for granted, but we're really lucky. You're right. When you always see the kindness, see kindness and true happiness, you will eventually lose sight of it. When you always see it, okay. Junkman taught us that all over again. What is it, Mega Man? I felt Junk Man just now. His body is broken, but his spirit lives on. That means we may run into him again someday. Yeah. Junk Man, I look forward to seeing you again. And now we got the Junk Soul. Ornamental chips such as rock cubes serve as sacrifices for Junk Soul. When united, Mega Man causes enemies to be confused. Hold and release B to launch a poltergeist. Also, you can select a junk chip that's already been used during battle during the battle in the custom screen. Junk Soul both destroys and recycles. Good luck. Shonen has time. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, this is basically just Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> For Japan, anyway. We are almost at the end of the Blue Moon Tournament. All that remains is the final battle. The two contestants who will fight to be the world number one are... Okay, I was kind of hoping it would be the other one, but okay, okay. Kendo Man. Is that Navi from Electopia? No, Lan. He represents Netfrica. Netfrica? That country with all the savannas? We were already there, come on. They do Kendo there? I don't know if they do or not. I wonder what his operator's like. Like this? Or like this? There we go. That's better. How's it going, Hot Corn Dog? I thought I just hurt somebody. Me too. Ta da! What? Or who are you? You surprised us! Ah! Mr. Famous! <laughs> Surprising! The opponent is one of. Surprising the opponent is one of my strategies. Are you Kendo Man's operator? Precisely. I look forward to fighting you guys. But how'd you end up representing Netfrica? I've been traveling all over the world, training net battlers. Just because he could teleport and stop time doesn't mean he's smart. That is true. That is very true. The people of Netfrica really took a liking to me. They wanted to see what I could do, so I entered the tourney pre prelims, and then I won. And here I am. Next thing I knew it, I was Netfrica's representative. So there were two representatives for Netfrica. 
This is kind of why I was really hoping we fought the other one. That way, we didn't have two representatives for Netfrica. It'd be kind of weird. Either way. Well, Mr. Famous, that's quite the story. It's really not allowed, but they're counting on me. So I'll be fighting for Netfrica this time. Good luck. You too. What kind of navy is Kendo Man anyway? I have a bunch of different navvies. And I chose them based on each mission. Remember, he had Gate Man and Punk. Bro, I thought he was in <laughs> some lawn that he wasn't cut yet. Oh no. I brought a really, st I brought a really strict coaching navvy. This time to teach some young people. And that's Kendo Man? Precisely. He must be drilling really hard in Netfrica right now. He said he'd be there in time for the match. Hey, if you want to say hi, go to Netfrica. The people are nice, and the scenery is gorgeous. The leader of the youth organization can find him. What do you think, Mega Man? Mr. Famous recommends it. Want to go? I, I want to meet this Kendo Man, too. Yeah, I do, too. Let's go to Netfrica. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Famous, I'm going to go to Netfrica for a bit. Have a nice trip. And don't get Kendo Man mad. He can be a scary Navi. Is he that scary? Maybe we shouldn't meet him after all. <laughs> just kidding. Let's go. Tell the leader of the youth organization for hi for me. So Mr. Famous was in Netfrica. Look now. What do you mean, look now? What do you mean? That's a weird, weird line. What is it, Mr. Famous? Hmm. I got the feeling someone was looking at me. Guess not. I mean, he is very famous. I'm pretty sure he gets that all the time. Okay, I'll see you later then. Take care. So, going to Netfrica again! Well, that's gonna be fun. I still need to make the board parts. Do we want de uh, detour to Sharo? Yeah, you know what? Let's detour to Sharo very quick and get the board parts complete mixed up. Okay. Um, so just point in the Cowboy Bebop collab in Overwatch. Oh, they did collab. All the characters look fine except for the Kree. It's like we got. Uh, he looks like we got Spike at him. Hmm. Oh, so they're just like we have Spike at home. Spike at home. It's McCree. I see. So wait, uh, who, uh, who, uh, who'd they add in for the? Is it uh, just Spike and Vicious, or did they have a couple more characters like Faye and Jet? Uh, this way. There we go. You want to make you want me to make you a sea slider? Anyway, if you get all the parts, yeah, there we go. That's the, that's the three parts I need. Here we go. Let's see. Stick this in here and that in there. That's it. Finished. Got the sea slider. Be careful with that thing now. No, no, you don't have to pay me. Unlike my gramps, I just make those for fun. All right, got that done. Got that taken care of. Let's go to Netfrica. Hi, uh, youth leader. I heard all about it. You protected the village. The water guard is back to normal because of you. You may jack into it. I will take you across the river. Now then, climb onto my shoulders. Now, uh, huh? No. Don't me. Come to me if you wish to cross. Yeah, he wasn't there before. I'm this village's youth group leader. Hmm. You're looking for Kendo Man. He's on the net in Netfrica area. It's time for practice, so you should be able to find him. Yeah, we met you before, dude. I was here for your water festival. I hear that a famous ne Electopian is visiting here. They say he's a master net battler. Subship dealer. I'm not a local. I'm an Electopian sy systems engineer. I'm just here to expect the network. This leads to holy ground. Outsiders are prohib prohibited. Anyway. Yeah, we were here already to fight uh, Jammer, but I guess we're in Netfrica again to deal with Kendo Man, the Kendo Man scenario. Feels a little weird, honestly, to just uh, deal with... I, this is why I was kind of hoping for the other one, because we'd be going to Sharo. 
it just kind of feels like, oh, we get to go to each of the different countries. But no, we, we have to double up. Feels wrong. Okay. Ah, oh, there you are. Area grab M? Eh. So you're Kendo Man. What's that? It's Master Kendo Man. Uh, yes, sir, Master Kendo Man. I haven't seen you around. Did you finish your training? T training? Fool, you didn't finish. Uh, wait a second. I'm not. No talking back. Here, carry this. We got a cyber sword. Now we're Proto Man now. So they added Spike, Fay, Ed, Jet, Ant, and Ein. They added Ein. How'd they make that work? And I'm surprised they didn't get uh, add Vicious in there. I thought, because the Metal Gear collab, based on what you told me, it was just Snake and Raiden. So I thought, okay, maybe only two characters, so uh, Spike and Vicious, probably. Uh, excuse me. What? You forgot how to do your training? Bah! The hamster? So, wait, there's a hamster in the game, and that's who Ayn got replaced with? Okay. First, you practice your moves and on the Kendo training ma machine in Yumland area. After that, you do the one in Natopia area. Then, you do the one in Sharo area. Each machine will give you a license when you are done. I'll hear what you have to say after you bring all three. Don't just stand there, move! Uh, okay, K K Kendo Man is scarier than I thought he'd be. Good luck, Mega Man. What do you think this is? <sighs> what, you think this is just my problem? Hurry up and go. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, that's Fortnite. Overwatch doesn't co didn't collab with many people. Fortnite. Oh, okay. I, I was getting them a little confused, I guess. So that's the sea slider in action. Very nice. Uh, I guess we'll go with Aqua Soul. And we'll... I guess we'll give... This guy heat stroke. One more. Done. All right, blue mystery data. Jungle. Um, if I'm correct, that attracts wood type viruses. Yep. Like, I have no reason to equip that. If we go after Woodman, we could definitely use that. The rest look fine. It's just Cassidy that looks terrible. Oh, okay. Okay, we need to head to Yumland. Let me just. I don't have the Zenny anyway. We'll just go take this route. I was thinking of just leaving and go to the Yum Land, like actual Yum Land. But I don't have 6,000 Zenny to buy the, buy the code to open the cube. What did you have here again? HP memory, repair, yeah, nothing I really want. Other than Vulcan 2s. But I, yeah, I don't have the money. Seems like I'm gonna need to figure out a good money spot. <sighs> That's enough, Kendo Man. You're too tough. Sheesh. Uh, sounds like really tr uh, very tough training right here. Ouch! Ouch! I slipped on a cyber banana peel. Ouch! So, wait, why is there a cyber banana peel? It's a good thing I already bought an unlocker. Lance. Let's see. Through the back row. That's not, that's not bad. Wait, if that's exactly what I think it is, maybe I'll replace a couple things. Um, As much as I don't mind flame line... If I don't have area grab. Actually, you know what? Let's just get let's just see if we can get area grab. Or you know what? Uh I don't use these. 
We'll go with this. That way we can pull guys forward. That might work. And Var Sword, while well, okay, it's got nerfed. So, hmm. Sadly, area grab is either M or S. There really needs to be a star code if there isn't one. There we go. Okay. Uh, here we go. So you're you're training, huh? Want me want to train with me? Sure. Knock me down within 50 seconds. I should have heard the explanation. Begin! Uh, yeah, I should have heard the explanation. Okay. I don't know how to block. So you press the... You hold the direction and then you press, uh... Uh, A... But I should learn how to block. Kind of wish we could just dodge, but whatever. Okay. I need to learn how to block, but other than that, pretty simple. You got some amazing skills here to this. Next, uh, the next uh, training session is the machine in Netopia area. Let's go! Alright. Well, those are going to be there permanently. All right, off to the training machine in Netopia, and I gotta learn how to block. Um, hmm. I think we'll go with Wood Soul. So the Junk Soul is actually pretty good, but the Charge Shot is completely useless unless there is, like, actual, like, rocks on, like, in the area. So, like, it works on this screen, but, like, can't really use it for much else. So, I think Junk Soul takes a lot more setup to really work. However, he has the recycle function, so you can use a chip and then it's just, you get it back. It, it lets you reuse chips you've already used before. Okay, we'll go with Aquasol. And then we'll try this. There we go. I didn't see the super effective symbol, so it might be uh, neutral. There's something to give Cassie a half for the spike skin. Oh, really? Just doesn't look that good, huh? Is it over here? I've been analyzing your battle battling technique. I think that you should use your chips more wisely. You haven't pulled out all of their potential. Says you. <laughs> so I think I got Sylvester Stallone to model for the spikes. What? That's weird. Uh, actually, can I run? Nope, never mind. Guess I'm kind of stuck here. There we go. Alright, and... I guess we'll prep this up. I'm gonna need more of those. Is it up here? Yes. Oh, I... The first one only told me. <laughs> Great. Knock me down within 50 seconds. I don't know how to block. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait. 
It had to do with RNL, I think. Oh no, it's left. Okay. I see. And you gotta time it right. You can't just hold it, apparently. I don't know why that didn't count. There we go. Yeah, please do. I'm kind of curious on how they look. Now to go to the Charo area. Whew, that's all I could take. I've heard that Kendo Man's lessons were rough, but this is ridiculous. Whew. Okay, where are you? Uh, why is Kendo Man tough even on us girls? Uh, I can't believe this. All right, Molly, you can't believe it? Can't believe it? Can't believe it. Molly, come on. Come here. You want attention? Is that what? Hey, hey. Molly. You want attention? Come here. Over here. <sighs> when she gets like this, you know, have to pay, uh, pay the dog tax, I guess. And give her attention. You know, she needs the attention. She's needy. Okay. Ugh. Might as well look at the these skins, I guess. Okay, so Faye and Jet look at pretty good. Ed is okay. It's really the hair, but Ed works fine. I can kind of see where you're getting at with Spike. It's like... Because Spike is supposed to be a lot more... Uh, not skin, skinny. Skinny's not the... This Spike is too bulky. I think that's the best way to put it. Oh, and I see Ayn has the robot thing. Okay, I see. I mean, look. Uh, Jet is very bulky, but it still works. I see how it is. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I could kind of see where you're talking about, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Hi, Molly. Right? Right? You just want the attention. You're just so needy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes. Right? What? I don't have a bone for you. You already had it. You already ate your bone. You already had it. What, was that not good enough? That wasn't good enough. Squirrel. So I, there's a squirrel. There you go. <laughs> anyway. Oh, by the way. Uh, so, the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake is coming out May 23rd. So, I definitely want to play that when that comes out. Dog's playing with the toy squirrel, so that's, that's what you're hearing. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, definitely gonna play Thousand Year Door Remake when that comes out. But, like, that was one of the few games I had planned where I need to play them basically right when they become available. Or, like, ASAP, basically. Cassie built like that. People say, slim his face, but I feel like I'll make it look small head, big body. Yeah, I know. You would have to, like, shrink his entire body, not just the face. 
like I said, like, it's like, uh, he's too bulky to be Spike. But maybe that's just the best you can do. Kendo man, I did all your your training. Even though I'm not your student, <sighs> it's the uh, um. Show the licenses. Oh ho! You brought back all three licenses. Now I have something to say to you. Sure, spit it out. I um. Uh... Alright, let's look fine in my opinion. They just fumbled the creed. Yeah, no, I didn't have a problem with the others. Not as much. Uh, it, it's really a spike. So you're not here for the training at all? You're my opponent and you came to meet me? That's correct. Oh, sorry then. I can be a little impatient at times. I lash out when I see a young Navi. Please forgive me, Mega Man. So is your training always this stri that strict? Of course. The path of Kendo is life itself. All uh, martial arts are like that. If you can follow the path of martial arts correctly, then you can live correctly. Mr. Famous wants to use the spirit of the of martial arts to build character. That's why it seems so difficult. I see. So that's the point of all the all this difficult training. I learned something new today, didn't you, Lan? Sure did, Mega Man. How do you like to be his apprentice? I was thinking just the same thing. Mega Man, you showed promise. R really? But I, I don't think so, thanks. <laughs> Just kidding. It's time to head back to the tournament anyway. I'll see you there, Mega Man. Okay. Okay, Mega Man, let's check out. Gotcha. Well, that's the thing. Uh, it's all cleared up. Let's go to the Coliseum. Yeah, this is going to be a short mission. See, we're done already. No issues whatsoever. Let's see. Oh, I should have saved. People say that I don't like the others too, but I feel like they're nitpicking. People also try to compare Fortnite with Overwatch when it comes to skins, but Overwatch tries to go with more of a professional cosplay. I guess if that's how you have to view it then, more cosplay then for, for the characters in universe. Please forgive the long delay, everyone. First, it's Lan, the Electopian representative. And now, the representative of Nefrica, Mr. Famous. Uh, excuse me, actually... Okay, got it. Thank you. Kazuma okay, went to Party City and thrift store for his cosplay. He spent three bucks in total. Everyone else spent, like, hundreds of dollars on their cosplay. Cassie is just like, uh, I have to go to this party. It's this theme thing. I didn't really want to do it. I have an important... I have an announcement for everyone. It's time for the match to start, but Mr. Famous has not yet arrived. If he doesn't arrive within five minutes according to the tournament rules, he will forfeit. W what? You're kidding! Mr. Famous and Kendo Man were looking forward to it. Lan. Yeah, something must have happened to them. I agree. Let's look for them. Exactly. Miss, please give us some time. I'm gonna look for Mr. Famous. There must be something wrong for him not to show up. Please. Alright. I also find it hard to believe he missed a match like this, but I can't wait for very long. Thank you. Let's go, Mega Man. Where do you think he is? I don't know. We have to look for him based on the info we have now. 
Okay, so I think Land delayed the match, but either way, there's no way this is more than five minutes. Or, this is five minutes. Think about this. Think about the amount of time it would take to fly to Netflix by itself. Oh, it's the iron skin is Oh, iron is free. How much do you have to pay for the skins? We came all this way to Netflica, but there's nobody here. Remember, Battle Network 2 gave, like, an actual, like, timeline, a time frame of how long it takes to fly to Netopia. What was that? Mr. Famous? Oh, shit. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> Taking hostages. Ha! Despicable. You haven't gotten any better since those days. Bah! Do you know how much I've suffered in the five years since you kicked me out? Everyone heard about it, and I've been the laughingstock of the whole net. Can you understand my humiliation? You were a great net battler, but you grew proud and forgot all about human kindness. Strength without kindness is nothing but a mere weapon. That's why I sealed off your net battle moves and kicked you out before it was too late. The problem is within you. Haven't you realized that? Shut up! Ever since you sealed off my moves, I haven't been able to beat a single Metar. So today, I will take my revenge at long last. What? Don't you move. The lions will feed on the hostages. How do you have control of these things? Help us! <laughs> Are you scared? I control those lions with the radio waves coming out of the lion statue. Okay. So I decided whether those hostages live or die. N no Hey, hostages! Watch as I take away Mr. Famous's ability to fight. There! Couldn't show him punching Mr. Famous, I guess. Uh I'm pretty sure we've have seen like a gut punch in like the, like Battle Network 2, so I think this is either more of a time constraint or they're really trying to, you know, dumb down the violence on screen, I guess. See, Mr. Famous is kneeling before me. <laughs> if only he didn't have those sausages. Mr. Famous is in big trouble. We gotta rescue him. We can't make any false moves with those hostages. We have to save them first. Yeah, he's controlling them from that lion statue. Wait, let's check into that statue without him seeing us. We might find a way to rescue those hostages. Let's do it while he's still talking to them. Time to go, Mega Man. Individually, 20 bucks for for their bundle. For each collab, 50 bucks. That is, that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. So, like... 25 bucks each for four skins. That's 100 bucks. Or you buy the collab for 50 bucks. That is stupid. That is ridiculously overpriced. Ah, what's happening? Someone set up those strange devices and emitting an unrecognized signal. The village is in trouble. You gotta destroy the device. Looks like a virus is controlling this device. You handle the operation. All right, let's see. Uh, Aqua Soul, so I don't slide around. And we'll probably start with the boomerang. For the bo yeah, for uh, for the Ein skin, you just play the game, obviously. But like the others, you know, you pay a hundred bucks individually or fifty. That's ridiculous. That that is too much, honestly. That's not a microtransaction. That's a macro transaction, right? That that's the term, correct? The lions have lost their energy somehow. Okay. Still gonna go with Aqua Soul. And I still think I'm gonna go with Boomerang. Alright. 
right, and then we'll try this magnet. Yeah, I know, that's ridic- that is just ridiculous. Hey, lions! I didn't tell you to move! The hostages are over there! It's a good thing that the lions are just not interested. Because, honestly, this is a dumb plan. I mean, okay, think about it like this. He has control of these lions, right? And these lions are, like, at, uh, under his control are currently, like, threatening to, like, uh, eat them, right? What if we get rid of the radio, radio waves and they're not under his control, but then they decide to attack anyway? This is a stupid plan. Lions, roar! What the? Why don't, why don't they roar? Totally just, yeah. This is, this is actually a bad plan. Th this is actually really bad. Uh, let's... Now we'll go with this. Oh, I missed, I see. So what happened? Imagine if viruses had friendly fire. Oh, it's too bad I can't pair it with that. Yeah, I could have hit that guy, but you know what, we'll take it. Just a couple more. All right, now let's see the bad ending where the lions just maul everyone. What is it? There's something weird about those lions. It's a good thing they just left. Hey, where are the lions going? We broke that device that was using to control them. Again, terrible plan. They could have just easily mauled everyone and he had no control of them to stop him. This was the worst plan to think of. Mr. Famous, the hostages are okay, you little. I'm gonna have to teach you a painful lesson now. Eek, I'm, I'm sorry. Let's just talk. No more talking. Thanks, Lion. You saved us. But what about the tournament? Oh yeah, I came to find you, Mr. Famous. Everybody's waiting for us. Hurry back to the Coliseum. Is that true? Then let's run. We have to get on the same flight. <laughs> you are a brave warrior. You may approach the lion. So yeah, the only way to go over here is to do that Mr. Famous side quest. That's how they kind of handle some of this. Alright. Metopia. Now we can fight Kendo Man. I got my two brain cells and they're both right. This is this is his worst plan he's thought of. Right? This has to be. Or does electrocuting himself to turn off the power plant on and off switch even worse? I don't know which one's worse, honestly. Please forgive the long delay, everyone. It took like an entire day because, you know, think about the flight time on the way to Netfrica and then back. First, it's Lan, the Electopia representative. Like, there is no way this was on the same day. My suspension of disbelief can can only go so far. And now, the representative of Netfrica, Mr. Famous! Sorry for the delay, everyone. To make up for it, here's Lan with the ultimate net battle. This one. At least he's just endangering himself with the power plant. This one, he will kill everyone, including himself. That is true. That is true. Honestly, he needed to, like, try to steal the, the device off the guy and then take the device and have the lions leave. 
That would have been the better one. Unless Re Lamb remembers to teleport. Then he'd only save himself and then endanger everyone else. Let's start it, Lamb. Give us the ultimate battle. You got it. Give us the ultimate battle. Here we go. Lamb versus Mr. Famous. Battle routine set. Execute. Here ya! Kendo Man. Let's see. I guess we'll start with Aqua Soul. And we'll get a pet hockey. Let's see. Trying to. He moves so strange. Like. That is a weird movement. Ah, oh, God! I forgot how this fight works. Okay. I can hit him when he charges forward. That works. Okay. We could use both of these. Okay, no counter. I guess we'll go with Bubbler and go with 100 damage. Perfect. It's honestly better to just let him charge at you. His movements are too weird. Last of that. Set up Vulcan 1. Okay. Now if I... Keep it. Hell yeah. Training. Let's see. Ow! Ow! I'm safer with this. Ow, he still hit me. Got him, that was close. Kendo Man deleted. Against all odds, Len has long won the battle. But either side could easily have been victorious. That was actually very close. That was actually accurate. That was pretty close. I forgot how Kendo Man fought, you know? Amazing! You beat my Kendo Man. It's not just net battle net battles you were you where you shine either. You have the spirit to overcome yourself in times of trouble. The two of you taught me that. It's the spirit of martial art. Uh, of the martial artists. Precisely. You learned that... Uh, you, le you learned that your lessons well. That's not... You learned that your lessons well. That's... I... I, I... It should have been you learned your, your lessons well. Like, come on, what is this? Mr. Famous, we have to take them as apprentices. No, we have nothing left to teach them. They'll grow up through their own strength now. How unfortunate. It's too bad, but there is nothing left to teach them. <laughs> Land, Mega Man, I get the feeling a huge mission is waiting just around the corner for you. There may be many problems up ahead waiting for you, but whatever happens, don't give up and follow your heart. If you do this, I'm sure you, uh, your future will be bright. You got that? Okay. This is farewell. I look forward to our next battle, wherever it may be. Nothing left to teach us. Are we that amazing? 
Oh, great. The, e the ego's getting to his head. Don't get cocky. It just shows how much you have to learn. I'll be careful. But that's our third tournament that we won. We have a winner! The battler who tossed us... Who tossed... Tossed to side? All others to... Tossed to side. Not tossed aside, tossed to side. All others to claim the title world champion is the safe sixth grader from the Electopia, Lan and Mega Man. You know, I know they just kind of copy and pasted like everything from the GBA ROMs, but they couldn't go and fix the typos. I, I guess it's true. It's the true experience, I guess. Boss, the winner has been decided. Okay, I'll be right there. I mean, you should have known that already. Who is that lady? She's the, she's the boss. Yes, that lady's our boss. You'll be told the details later on. Ah, oh, boss, we're over here. Huh? Grab the ladder. W what? We're from Net uh, Netopia's Outer Space Monitoring Center. Our planet is in extreme danger. Please, grab on. We'll explain everything later. Outer space? Extreme danger? But why me? Time is against us. Go now, quickly! I'm not sure about this. I need to be... I need to be told everything. Take it up, boss. Roger, on my way. Next stop, Naxa! Uh, oh, oh! First time on a helicopter, huh, Lan? Okay, they just flew off, but they just didn't bring the ladder up. Okay, that's very dangerous. We didn't get a trophy for this. That's the worst part about this entire tournament. <laughs> All that and no trophy. Follow me, please. Wait, what is this place? Imagine if we lost, Mr. Famous shows up here. He has to... Imagine if there was, like, a bad ending every time you lose the finals of this, and whoever you lose against gets... We get, like, a small ending with them saving the planet. That would be actually kind of funny. I would love that. Welcome, Lan, to the Netopia Space Monitoring Center, otherwise known as Naxa. Naxa? Space? Why have you brought me here? Prepare yourself. A huge asteroid is heading directly towards our planet. If we don't stop it, we're all doomed! Our plan to prevent the impact requires your strength, Lan. W what I haven't heard anything about an asteroid. Of course not. It's level 5 top secret information. If everyone knew, the world would descend into chaotic panic. We'll tell you the details inside. Go to the room on the second floor. Hurry now. Thank you for staying at our hotel the other day. We would like to present participants in the Blue Moon Tournament with our Hotel HP banner. Please visit us again on your next trip to Netopia. Well, that's our shortcut. And again, this would be the Red, Red Sun facility. Uh, the spacesuit for its display, it's so it's larger than normal. Its size makes it easy to examine how it's been made. There's something gripped in the spacesuit's hand. Ooh, reg up three. Someone left a Naxa pamphlet. It contains Naxa mas mascot, Santa. Giving an easy to follow tour of the facility. Welcome to Naxa. You must be Lan, right? Please hurry up to the stairs into the back. Everyone's waiting for you. I want to explore! You're the world champ! Please hurry inside. Uh, there's not much to explore. Can't go in. Not that one. This is the room. Go inside. Dr. Regal, would you please tell us what you have in mind? Dr. Hikari's laser failed, so your plan is all we got. This entire time, and Regal has not told them the plan. Everyone, I brought the tournament winner. Please come in. He is the Blue Moon Champion. Lan, I heard that the winner was from Electopia, but... Dad! Who would have thought that we'd meet here? 
I could probably just get on the asteroid and use his time stopping powers and then I guess live there. Virtually battle people. I guess. And that will give, uh, that gives his dad more time to charge the laser. <laughs> and then they would just have to, you know, get Lan off the, off the asteroid before they fired the laser. Blah. So he's your son. Yes, this is Lan. I see. You must be very proud of him. Nice to meet you, Milan. I am Dr. Regal. I'm a, a mere scientist. Uh, nice to meet you. Now, let me tell you why I've ha had you brought here. First of all, the reason why we searched for the best net battlers, we recently held two global, uh, global scale battle tournaments. And we found the, t the two greatest net battlers, Lan and one other. Oh, there were two tournaments. Okay. He could just teleport out of there. I. I guess so. But what has that got to do with the asteroid? Wait, there was there was a second tournament. Is that supposed to be like is he implying the Red Sun tournament? Just somewhere else? Let me get straight to the point. That asteroid is man-made. Huh? It can't be. Someone actually made that asteroid? Exactly. I couldn't believe it either at first. But signals on a cyber world frequency were deleted, were detected. A large spherical rocket may have been put into space. And over time, space dust could have attached to it. But we've no record of a spherical rocket being lo- Ah, maybe! Yes, it's possible that it was launched from another planet. But its origin is not of importance to us now. We must focus on changing the asteroid's course. Returning to my original topic, as this asteroid is not natural, it must contain a cyber world. Do you see now? If we send a Navi to the asteroid, he could control it. But how could we send a Navi into space? We converted your laser into a remote control system. Remember, Navis are program data. And every day we send program data by wireless means. But this is far too dangerous. A mission to space where er anything could go wrong. We could even lose the Navi, and this planet would be smashed to pieces. In order for this mission to succeed, the most delicate operating skills will be cru cru uh, crucial. The only one who could do it is you, Lan. Already, the other champion is working at Sharo Space Center to operate satellites and pilot the course of the asteroid. Well, Lan, I... I... Let's do it, Lan. But, Mega Man, if something went wrong in space, if we don't try, then everyone is doomed. And we're the only ones who can do it. We'll be fine. I trust you completely. Okay, I understand, Mega Man. I'll do it. But, Lan. Don't worry. This is a job for a Hikari. So, what must I do? Tests on the Navi transporter are nearly complete. We'll need you as soon as they're done. A message from Netopia. A group called Nebula has hacked into the net all over the world. Connection to the net is no longer possible. What are the officials doing about this? It's no good. The communication net has been torn to pieces. The laser plane may... Uh, maybe it was foiled by... Nebula? So now they're using the net to ruin our next strategy. I'll check it out. But we need you uh, We need you for the Navi plan. If you were hurt... Okay, we'll leave it to you. Show us all, uh, all just how skilled you are. If there's a problem in the net, our, our next strategy cannot succeed until it's resolved. Remember, the data from Sharo will come via the net. Lan, travel around the world and, and fix the net by jacking it directly into it. Also, I want to give you something before you leave. I'll, I'll get it from you later. I'm relying on you. Lan. We'll, Lan will take care of the net problem. Everyone else, back to your post and make it ready for our plan. Anyway. You said you were going to get this? Install this into your pet, Lan. Transmitter. When installed, we can keep track of where Mega Man is. If something were to happen to Mega Man, we'll have to come up with another plan to stop the asteroid. Of course, we hope nothing happens to him, though. Hmm. 
Keeping track on Mega Man, huh? And the obvious bad guy. <laughs> Not even I know what's going to happen next. But one thing I know for sure is our planet's face our planet's fate rests on you in this next generation chip developed by Naxa. Maybe it will help you. We got the blue moon chip. We got our first Giga chip now. Yeah, we beat Junkman and Kendo Man, and we just got the Blue Moon Ship. Our first Giga. Let's see, what do I replace? I guess I could replace one of the... Actually, we'll do that. And I hope you like the danger music, because this is what we're going to be dealing with for a while. Gotta hurry and restore the net! You can do it, Lan! I apologize for placing the burden of the world's fate onto your so shul uh, shoulders, but we don't have any other options. We adults are powerless. As if we don't have enough problems with the asteroid, now the net's divided up. What's going on? Well, I was thinking of doing like an entire trip around the net anyway for cleanup, so it's not that big of a deal anyway. How many unlockers do I have? Do I have any unlockers? No. Let's buy unlocker. Gotta do cleanup. We have the we have the cyberboard, so we're. That's part of the reason why I want to do the cleanup. But yeah, how's it going, Tyler? Okay, let's... Actually, let's explore Sharo. We didn't actually go around here. So now it's blocking the path. Nothing for it, but brave the cold and clear it. Let's explore Sharo, see what we can find. Actually, so that no one has to feel cold in Sharo. Heating appliances are really, really cheap. Wait. Sounds like kids playing. Power routine, set, execute. Looks like a net battle. Sweet smell. Must be dinner cooking. The space center's been busy lately. Is something wrong? Nothing over here. I uh, just got a class of chilling right now. Very nice. Every house has a sloping loop, roof. So the snow doesn't weigh, uh, doesn't weigh, snow's weight doesn't crush it. There we go. I don't know what, what's actually here, though. Wait. Uh, the folk craft of Sharo. Simple, but you get the real feel for him. So many charm. The Blue Moon Tournament was awesome! The kid that won looked like you! He wore a bata bandana. Had a pack. Hey! It looked a lot like you. It's weird. Well, it can't be you. Why would you be here? You're Lan, right? I heard about you from Naxa. You got to hurry and fix the net. Shadow Space Center. All right. Oh yeah, here's the Red Sun logo. Okay. This is the Space Center. Uh, this is the Space Center's information system. It's a useful system for getting around this place. But in emergencies, it serves as a space uh, observatory system. Looks like you could jack in. Okay, so I'm guessing Sharo held their own tournament, and that's the Red Sun tournament. Or if you're playing Red Sun, that's the Blue Moon tournament. This information system is currently acting as a space operate observation system. I'm so busy, I can't handle everything by myself. Um, oh, what, what do we got here? Speed plus one. Sure, let's throw it in. Not really using this for much. Alright. Well, I have a more rapid, I guess. But yeah, I don't know how much you saw of the last... Oh, ads. I'll, I'll give it a minute. We'll do this. Takes three charge shots for these guys. There we go. How are we on? Okay. Yeah, I already checked there. Are you a Navi from the uh, Are you a Navi from the Sharo Space Center? You have the P code, right? No. 
All right, just use this one. Now don't forget it. All right. Let's explore around a little bit more. Oh, taken from a shadow of an aurora in the night sky. It's so beautiful, like a veil of light. Lots of pictures of the Milky Way and asteroids. Each one lets you feel the wonder of mi and mystery of space. There's something small written in the picture's corner. Another bow chip challenge code? Okay. Cut down model of the weather satellite. The idea of this... The idea that this travels in space seems like fiction. Oh no, we can't send data to Nexus. Something must be done. You can check the weather satellite status from here. Right now, everything looks A-OK. -okay. The Earth and Moon are displayed in real time. Both of them have peaceful glow about them. You're we're counting on you to fix the net, land. Please hurry. The winner of the Red Sun Tournament... Yeah, there was a Red Sun Tournament. Okay. Is operating the Red Sun satellite in another room to analyze the asteroid. We have to send that data to Nexa as soon as possible. Uh, been sorted here. Is copied to the source system to the next. Wait, what did that say? Well, the satellite data is recording here. Yeah, okay. So that, not much here. <coughs> so I wonder who won the Red Sun tournament. Or, if you're playing Red Sun, who won the Blue Moon Tournament? Because I don't think we ever find that out. Honestly, my headcanon, it's uh, King Man's Operator. Because didn't he say he's from Sharo? I'm trying to remember Battle Network 3. Well, if we have to explore the net, let's, and I wanted to do cleanup anyway. Oh, first, let's go buy an unlocker. If I'm doing cleanup, let's just start from the beginning and then just do a run around. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Thinking about it. I don't have the World 3 lock opener thing. I should probably get that. Tor is a fun hand cannon. Because, like, he's from Sharo, right? That makes perfect sense. He's strong enough to be able to win a tournament. So if he was entered in the Red Sun tournament and he pilot and he's piloting the Sharo Space Sun satellite, that makes perfect sense to me. And it's also a reason, an excuse of why he's not here. Uh, a bunch of teleporters, which we still need Dexes. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, let's do a trip around the net. Try to find, like, anything. You really, I'm just referring to, like, the sea slider board. Probably just gonna run away from some fights, though. Some of these early ones. Um, do you remember when I get, uh, the key to this door? Because if that if I get it not in not too long, then maybe I'll hold off. He's already been shown to be talented net power, so it makes sense that he could win the win. Yeah, he just represents Sharo for the Red Sun tournament. That Red Sun is that the Red Sun tournament is sponsoring. It makes sense to me. Like it it it, it just all makes sense. It all makes sense to me. And uh, in uh, Red Sun, uh, there is already a representative for. There's two. Okay, so there's two representatives for Sharo. Uh, one of them is Cold Man, and another one is uh, Search Man, which you're supposed to fight in, in Red Sun. Uh, so you could say that Sharo sent two representatives to the Blue Moon Tournament, and then two for. Like, maybe two for the Red Sun Tournament. And maybe Toro went to the Red Sun Tournament. Or, you know what I mean. wonder what happened in the Yumland area. Fortunately, Ele Electopia wasn't damaged. But it would, be uh, it would be wise to remain alert. So, it seems like it only affects... It, it, it's not taking effect, this section of the game. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I remember when we get the door thing. 
Maybe I'll do the cleanup a little later. Hel Hello, uh... Uh, let's see. Yuriko? I'm just gonna call you Yuriko at the very end. How's it going? We just finished the Blue Moon Tournament. And this leads to Young Land, but the network's been cut off. Oh, we have to get there from Yum Land. Okay. I guess most of this is on the later parts of the net. So in that case, maybe... If I'm remembering things correct, maybe, maybe I should just hold off on cleanup until after I get that uh, World 3 door opener. But yeah, how, how's it going, Yuriko? I'm assuming you played Battle Network before. I don't think there's any sea slider sections here. Yeah. So, uh... This is not a first playthrough. I played these when I was younger, but I am going for a 100%. This is our, uh... You know, we just got ourselves the Blue Moon Chip. And as you can kind of maybe tell... Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, I already got... Uh, I got Aquaman, Woodman, and Junkman, so. Uh, why the long face? Such a big cap Huge fan of work been playing some. Same here, dude. Same here. If, when it comes to the GBA, if I wasn't playing Pokemon, I was playing Battle Network. Like, it was mostly between those two franchises. That just acts as a shortcut. Okay. This is also pretty much just a shortcut. I mean, it's a nice shortcut. So, you got a favorite Battle Network game? In particular? I mean, for me, it's basically three or six. Depending on what you're looking for. Three is the Battle Network game I started with. <laughs> Everyone basically has the same answer. Do you have anything to do with the attack? Of course not! So you're saying that I look suspicious? He's a very gentle man. I'm sure he's innocent. I may have a luck rough looking face, but I have never committed a crime. Is this just the equivalent of racial profiling? I think it is. Uh, so I do like how earlier on, this guy was up on the ramp up there just uh, yearning to be with this girl. And it looks like he, he, he succeeded into data navi profiling basically okay is there another z slider section in here actually i think there is i mean where's the game i played the, the least though I, I would say battle network 4 is the one i played the most <laughs> So when I was younger, Battle Network 4 was the only one I managed to 100%. Like, every other game, I got very close. Like, one program advance, very close, you know what I mean? But I couldn't get that last code. Like, in Battle Network 3, I was missing, uh, like, one of the Yo-Yo 3 chips. And I couldn't get it. It was dumb. Dumb as a kid. I mean, I relied on a, on game FAQs a lot, <laughs> so. But I I think part I think the reason why I did, never got that Yo Yo Three chip is maybe because I didn't utilize uh, custom style effectively. Because that's how you get some exclusive codes. Now that I'm actually thinking about it, and because I couldn't get the chip, I was uh, the code I would I utilized a lot of the bug frag trader oh, HP memory okay we'll take it never managed to show 100% any other other mystery dungeon explore you 100% explorers the sky wow I actually got very close to 100% the the mystery dungeon blue and then 
I think I lost my cartridge, so I had to start over. And I still got pretty far. But even then, I still, like... Like... On my original file, I still didn't have Deoxys, Jirachi, or Celebi. And I was only missing, like, a couple... Like, random Pokemon. Like, some of the fossil ones that take forever to level up. Dude, Mystery Dungeon is a big deal for 100%. Yeah. Oh, Mega Folder 1. Okay. I don't have any Mega Chips right now. I'm a Bug Frag Trader. Oh, finally! Okay, Sneak Run. That's not bad. Holy Panel. Okay. HP 400. Eh. Ant Ooh, Anti Damage. We need both of these. Collect. That's one I want. Okay, I kind of have an idea of what I'm saving up for. Uh, I think that's the last of this. So let's go to... Let's go basically to the Nettopia part of the net. Okay. It's kind of weird how Battle Network does, like, all of the... Like, when it comes to, like, secrets, they do a lot of, like, oh, you have to play this game to find this secret, or and then you need to watch this anime to find this secret sort of thing. It's just like, oh, you went a little overboard, don't you think? Maybe we need to get back to playing Mega Man. Recently, a few months ago, we played through, uh, one, two, three, five, and six main campaigns. You're talking about for Battle Network, right? So you just skipped four? <laughs> It's just like, nah, that's the worst one. I'm skipping four. Going to use Netflix, but we've been cut off. Okay. Oh, do I have to actually go in from each of the... Oh, you started four. Okay. You just... Oh, you only did one playthrough of it, I'm, sen I'm guessing, right? But during my streaming sessions, I did 100% 1 through 3 so far, and, you know, 4 is the next one I need to work on. Uh, I was just playing so much of the other 5 that I got before I got far into Burnout. Yeah, Burnout. That's the big thing. I kind of wish I had missed out on these games when I was young. But better late than never. I know, right? Like, it's... W okay, I see how... I see what we need to do. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm lucky that I managed to play this series when I was a kid. I don't know how I got into it. I think I just saw one random commercial or some magazine. And it just... I got interested in it. it I know for a fact that I wanted... Uh, the game I wanted was Blue Moon, actually. But I got Blue instead. Actually, wait a minute. Am I confusing... No, that's right. I got blue instead of blue moon. So I started with Battle Network 3. Then loved the series ever since. And then I think how it went was I went 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, then 1. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, Battle Network fan games? Um, no, I not really. Are you talking about, like actual Battle Network fan games or games that play similar to Battle Network. Because... Okay, Chrono X. Maybe that's something I'll look into. I don't play too many fan games, but, like, I'm not against playing them. Usually, for me, it's just like, are they done? <laughs> you know? Uh... I do know that there's a fan version of uh, Star Force 1 where it just kind of merges all three versions into one game. Battle Network Chrono X is amazing. Hmm. Something I maybe look into after I'm done with Battle Network. Uh, okay. So we need to go down here. There's the gate. Yeah, I know... I know Star Force has the one for the first game where it just fuses all three games into one basically one uh, playthrough, so you don't have to... So you can actually have an experience with all the versions without buying three separate games. Okay, hold on. 
Star Force DX. Definitive way to play Star Force 1. I bet. I haven't played that version. So I have no experience with that particular one. But I bet that would be the best way to play it. Does 2 and 3 have that sort of treatment yet? It's a full re... Oh, it's a rebounds too. Okay. But yeah, does 2 and 3 have that yet? Yes, Netfrica area and Netopia area are now connected, Lan. Alright, so now that that's done... Now we jump to one of the other areas. Uh, well, we go to Sharo, because I don't... I don't have the money. It makes me wonder if Battle Network would get a patch like that, too. Not a patch, but you know what I mean. Mega Man Maker? That's one I need to try out. I know it's a fan thing, but, like, just someone... Just, basically, just Mario Maker for Mega Man, you know? You know what's funny? Mega Man almost got, basically, Mega Man Maker before Mario Maker was even a thing. But, you know, the whole... KG and the they left, and then Capcom canceled, like, all of their... All, like, five of their projects. Mega Man related. So, we almost had a Mega Man Maker. Like, an official one. Obviously not counting, like, the side mode in Mega Man Powered Up. It should be official? I see. Uh, okay, let's go with wide shot. Oh. Okay. Dangerous. Should have gone for the one in the middle first. The guy who made Star Force DX made a Star Force 2 DX thing. But it's not as expansive. So he kind of did the bare minimum, more or less, for Star Force 2. But there is a Star Force 2 DX. Okay. That's something to look into. Okay. Now I need to somehow go to Yum Land. And I don't really have the money, so I think we're going to be grinding against, uh, just viruses until I get the money. I think, yeah, we need to go this way. Star Force 2, not quite DX. Oh, it's, it basically did the bare minimum, but it's being worked on. Okay, I see. Like, they're going... He's going to add more. But, for now, it's the bare minimum. Okay. I'll, I'll take that. So, is the guy planning to, like, fully finish Star Force 2 DX before moving on to 3 DX? Or is he planning to do the bare minimum for 3 DX and then go back and do the touch-ups for other stuff. Because I thought, if, like, if I'm gonna go to Star Force after Battle Network, I'm not sure if I am, but if I were to, my options are to just M you... You think you explained it wrong. Oh, okay. But my options are to play the original versions, like, on a DS emulator, which I do have at least one of each version. Well, not one of each version, but I, I have a I have a Star Force 1. It was Dragon. I don't have the other two. That's what I'm trying to get at. I could do the DX versions. At, of least of Star Force 1, anyway. Or I could just wait for a potential Legacy Collection, because let's be honest... When it comes to legacy collections, I'm pretty sure Star Force is gonna get the next treat. Uh, is gonna be the next one up to get the treatment. It's either that or Legends, and I think Star Force is gonna get the treatment first because Battle Network was the last one to get it. Thing. 
see, how can I get rid of you? Uh, with Legends, you could do Mis Misadventures of Trombone as well. So there's three games there. But yeah, it's Star Force and Legends. Those are the only ones left. Yeah, honestly, if you're going to do a Legends collection, you're going to... You might as well just throw in Misadventures of Trombone. Because why not? Um... Actually, let's try this. The only other options they could do in terms of other collections is... Like, uh, spin... Not spin-off. Like, side game collections. You know, they, they could do a classic collection where it's, like, the Game Boy games, Mega Man and Base. Uh... Mega Man Power Battle 1 and 2. Power Fighters and, uh... Like, the two arcade games are currently available already. Through, like, the Capcom arcade stuff. Arcade Fighters stuff. So those are available. Uh... Battle and Chase, that's the game I'm thinking of. Uh, Battle and Chase, then you also have Mega Man Soccer. You know, they could try to do like a spin side game collection. Go for Legends or Star Force. I'm assuming Star Force would be the next one to get a collection. That is my guess. You just did Battle Network. Might as well do the spir spiritual s sequel. Yeah, spiritual sequel. of his health back. Okay, hold on. Let's try this. And then there's, yeah, there's Battle Network ones too. Uh, Network Transmission, which I did stream before this. Uh, Battle Chip Challenge, which is not a good game. There's the Wonder Swan game. Uh, there's also, what, the mobile game Phantom of the Network? So you could do all that with Battle Network. Uh, Mega Man X? I don't think it has many side games. Other than X Command Mission and the two extreme games on Game Boy Color. Maverick Hunter X. That's also, like... Something you could do as well, I guess. Uh... Zero didn't get any side games. ZX didn't get any. So, yeah, it's really more about classic Mega Man and, like, a Battle Network like, side game collection that you can do. And maybe a small X side game one. You know? It's surprising how many side games Classic Mega Man actually has. Now I was, like, listing them out. We get any more Mega Man games? I want to have Battle Network 7. Like, I am hit and miss on, like, a Battle Network 7. Because, yeah, as a Battle Network fan, I totally want one. But at the same time, that game has a definitive ending, and we don't need a Battle Network 7. But then again, with... 
Foul Network 7, you could just say, oh, it takes place before, like, the epilogue, you know, at the very end. So it can be done, but it doesn't need one. Here is that Lan is super smart, but he's acting very dumb to fool fool the ones watching him to underestimate him. Also, the schizophrenic takes too far sometimes. <laughs> yeah. No, like, when it comes to the Mega Man franchise... Almost, like, Battle Network and the Zero games do not need another game. Honestly, we need to act... It doesn't need to... More content, more money. That is true. And Battle Network, these two Legacy Collections sold very well. So, there is a chance that they might prioritize a Battle Network uh, collection more than, say, anything else. Or a new Battle Network game. Anyway, whatever. Right, I heard about that survey, about the potential Mega Man 1, 2, 3 make, remake. But it was just like, what would you prefer? And that was an option people could have chose. I am stuck doing... You know what? I might be better off going to other areas and just open mystery data. That's probably... I'm probably better off doing that. Uh, We can start in... Actually, you know what? I know what we could do. Now that we have the Sea Slayer. Give us more Star Force Battle Network. That's the thing, like... Uh, Zero and Mega Man Battle Network do not need another game. They help both have definitive endings. Classic Mega Man is just more of like, Oh, Wily's back, go stop him. So, it doesn't need another game, but if it, it's not going to ruin the story if it does get one, so I'm not worried about that. It's more of like... Uh, the, the, it, the thing is, like, think about it. We needed X9. There was a cliffhanger at the end of X8 where it looks like Axel is, has this, the Sigma virus. Uh, Mega Man, uh, Mega Man Volnet's still stuck on the moon, so we need a Legends 3. Uh, we'll go with this. But at least with classic Mega Man, you could make a story where uh, a game where Wily actually creates Zero. You could do that. But classic Mega Man barely has a story, so I'm not too worried about that if it ever gets another game or not. Uh, hard one. Uh, what was I thinking? Um. But yeah, we need X9 because it looks like Axel was given this Sigma virus. We need a ZX3 uh, because it was revealed that one of the three old guys is really a bad guy sort of thing. So they left that on a cliffhanger. And Star, Star Force 3 has a cliffhanger and there was supposed to be a Star Force 4. Want to do more? Yeah, like that. Star Force 3 left on the cliffhanger, so we need another one. Play mine too. Well, if I'm going to have that. Became the best selling Mega Man game with two a bit behind it. Yeah, for the longest time, it was Mega Man 2, then Battle Network 4, then Mega Man 3. Mega Man 11 finally overthrew it over through Mega Man 2. But apparently, if you look at like the sales numbers, uh, I guess they combined the sales of Battle Network Legacy Collection 1 and 2. And it sold very well. So they might actually do something Battle Network related. And then there's Battle Network 4 in third place, yeah. And I think that was really, like, Japan did a lot better with buying Battle Network 4. And Battle Network, and there was Battle Network 3 hype, but yet it got poor, you know, 4 got poor reviews, so yeah, whatever. Let's explore the Undernet. Because why not? There's probably plenty of chips and viruses and money to be gotten here. 
Has just popped up? Okay. 3,000 zenny right there. I could get to Young Land in like one more. Like very close to being able to access Young Land. Uh, let's go around here. really thinking about it, I might want to save the full explanation of the undernet for a little bit later. Oh, you have, like, something like anti-navi or something. Okay. Let's go back here. Oh, wait. Oh, dang it. Why is this not a star chip? Ads are done. Okay. Just gonna get a little bit of money from the undernet. And then after that, I think what we'll do is we'll go to Yumland. Continue the plot for at least a little bit. Got here. Egad's a virus. Hmm. The best way to handle this. Wait, this thing doesn't get affected by the poison tiles. That's rigged. No, he's cheating. The spider's cheating. Yeah, even though, like, I can easily see Capcom making a Battle Network 7 purely because of how well this did. Kind of like what they did with Mega Man 11. I think other other Mega Man games need the sequel more. Virus cheating? No. Never. Why would a virus ever cheat? And I have yet to actually play the Legends games. That's something I do want to, like try at some point. Please uh, land and make many XC all the screen time. Okay. Wait, hold on. Got to head out. Have a good time. Yeah, later, Taylor. Nice. Thanks for stopping by. Perfect. Thunder Star. That's not bad. First of all, let's open this on uh, mystery data. Snake. Oh, okay. That's back. You could do a lot with that. To be honest, as long as it's a Mega Man game with good mechanics, I'll probably join. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Manette Dealer. I can't believe that I opened a shop here. Slow gauge? Ooh, fast gauge, but not a star one. Not worth it to me. Static? Uh, I mean, nothing I really want or really need at the moment. Well, anyway, let's leave. Let's go take care of the Yum Land section. We'll, full, we'll do more exploration of the Undernet.
Now let's take care of this first. The young ruins will last even longer thanks to your support. Please accept this on our behalf. Thanks. Thank you again for your generous gift. Okay. Well. I don't need to worry about this guy. There we go. But yeah, when it comes to Mega Man, Battle Network was my first introduction to the Mega Man like series altogether. I didn't know anything about classic Mega Man or anything else. Uh... Okay, well, I uh, destroy this. Uh, and then it was Zero, because I was asking for one of the Battle Network games, and it ended up with Zero Four. So that was a weird experience. <laughs> Let's and then after that, I went... No, I went to Star Force after that, because that was after Battle Network. And I'm like, oh, it's basically Battle Network, but the different series. I gotta play it. And then it was Classic. Then X. Then I fully played the Zero and ZX stuff after that. And really, I played through those more or less the first time through the Legacy Collection. Then, the last thing left is the Legends games, which I still haven't played. Battle Network is... Battle Network Mega Man is my classic Mega Man. I mean, it makes sense. Like, all the navvies are basically just classic Mega Man, just redone. You know. So, sorry about Mega Man video game. Wars. Pretty more or less, yeah. For me, it was Pokemon. That was my love for video games. But still, Battle Network, like... Part of my childhood was Battle Network. It's like Pokemon, Battle Network, and Sonic. Like, at the time, like, like that era was like the GameCube and, um, you know, the GBA, right? So, in both cases, I had Pokemon stuff. You know, mainline stuff on the cartridges, on the Game Boy Advance. And when it comes to GameCube, I had Coliseum and XD, so I was having fun with those. And GameCube had, so had Sonic Adventure 2, or my brother did, and Super Smash Bros. Melee, having fun with a lot of that. And then Game Boy was Pokemon in this file network, mainly. I mean, I had other stuff, don't get me wrong, but... It, like, those were the ones I mainly played. And we got, and we got good at games because of Battle Network. Yeah, I mean, I did put a lot of time in Battle Network trying to, like, 100% it, which I got good, good enough, I guess. Again, I got very close to 100%ing. Like, multiple Battle Network games. So, did pretty good. Okay. Aquaman. Let's get rid of one of these guys. Oh, come on. Okay, I need to use this. Not yet. We got rid of one of them. And 
one more air hockey will do the trick. Yeah, Yumlin and Netopi are connected. It's a phone call. Who could it be? Len, this is Dad. Not. Can you hear me? Yeah, Dad, is something wrong? The criminal who damaged the net is hiding in Park Area 1. Okay, yeah, this is what I was thinking of. However, officials from Netopia have no jurisdiction in, to operate in the Electopian net, and Electopia officials are still without communication. Okay, leave it to me. Thanks, Lan. First, find the official Navi in the Netopia area. He'll give you more details. I'm depending on you, Lan. Yes, sir. Let's see... Probably more in the center. Yeah, probably here. And the official from Netopia. Your Mega Man, your father told me all about you. It seems that the fugitive is hiding in the park area. If, if, if you know where he is, go get him. Yes, indeed, but there's a problem. The place where he is hiding is not easy to get to. Normally, there's no access. The only way to get there is through the undernet. The undernet. Yes, indeed. That pit of scum and villainy known as the Undernet. Even the officials are hesitant to head in there. Then we will go. What? Are you sure? I've been there like th like three times already. You heard of uh, uh, you heard about us from my father, right? Uh, yes, indeed. But you're still children. Again, I've been there three times. I was technically just there too. Skill at net battling doesn't depend on age. Please let us go. Indeed. Here, take this then. This data will open a door in the town area. The area beyond that connects to the undernet. Good luck. Okay, we can't go in through Sha Sharo. That's not the route. The route we need to go is town area. So we'll just go ahead and take the shortcut from Lance PC. Because it's town area two, if I remember correctly, so we could just go to Jomon Electronics. But yeah, I know with Battle Network, you know, I saw it as like basically a Saturday morning anime with actual stakes. If you look at Battle Network 1 and 2 anyway. When Battle Network 1 starts with an arsonist setting your house on fire and then the stakes just gets up from there in terms of danger like actual danger you know like this is actually treating the situation seriously right molly yeah i know my dog wants more attention she's very she's a very needy dog yes i know yeah i know no Ah, Molly, come on. What, that wasn't a double delete? Okay. So, is it this door? Gate, a okay, no, not that one. Uh, he jumped over that door. We have to follow him. I forget there's a town area for. I forget this place exists. Okay, uh, I need to come back with another unlocker. Gotta keep that in mind. Purple mystery data in town four. And pathway? Yeah. Not bad, kid. Making it all the way out here. I haven't talked to anyone in three years. I'm in a good mood, so I guess I'll give you this. Gunsoul 2. I found it deep in the internet, but it's not the kind of chip that people like me use. I wonder why a chip like that would be in the internet. Well, it lasts longer than our normal ones, so there we go. I could give, I, I can make uh, more people uh, take heat, heat stroke with it. It's great. Um, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah. 
I was gonna say, we haven't found a virus yet. Eh, just kind of the normal town area type of viruses. Nothing too special. Take out the first two. Let you stand there. That. And magnet. And time bomb L. Okay. Let's see. Beyond here is the undernet. I think that you, I think that you had best turn back. Well, tough luck, I'm not going to. And... Go into area two, I think. Yes! Gunsoul two! I will really only get the fish, though. Manta Ray. The spider, you know. Let's do Mega Buster it. What's going on, Molly? What's going on? Oh. Yeah, area two. Nothing really over here. Just better move better off moving on. Park area one. And that's how you're supposed to get all the way over here. Mystery day. Anti sort Oh, uh okay. I'm gonna make a save. It looks like my dog needs to go outside again. I guess. So, uh I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Let me swap back over. Okay. Let's get back to it. Uh, yeah, that's still broken. I think that's forever broken. I don't think it'll ever be men uh, be fixed. Um, now nah, we'll just run. So you're the one who's destroying the net. You. You're Mega Man, aren't you? I know you. You're the one that Laser Man mentioned. So you refused Laser Man's invitation and have become a menace to our organization. L Laser Man? You're with Nebula. You should be more careful who you speak to. And now, time to be deleted. Oh, what a shock. It's mostly viruses. But I could give that guy a thing a heat stroke. <laughs> okay, and we can do this. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. He ended up right in the middle. Ugh, you got me. But fear not, our mighty leader's plan is now in motion. The asteroid is ours. I knew it. You were after the asteroid. <laughs> our plan of darkness is nearly complete. I'll smash your plan into little pieces. Right, Mega Man? Dead right. That's what you think, little boy. Mega Man, as I am wiped out, so too will you. Into thin air! He pulled a Chiaotzu. Mega Man! Mega Man! Answer me, Mega Man! Ah. Dr. Regal, what's wrong? Oh no, the transmitter I gave to Lan has stopped sending signal. But if the transmitter has stopped transmitting, it means that Lan's Navi has, whether due to the nebula or for some other reason, been deleted. It, it can't be. But that means the plan to send a Navi to the asteroid can't even be attempted. I knew it was too much for a little sixth grader. We're finished. Not so. There's one other option. What's that? To send a different Navi instead. It's too late to change our plan. But we have no time to search for another net battler. We'll send my Navi. I may not be Land's equal, but I am a net battler. Does anyone object to this approach? Well then, let's get started with our preparations. Lan. Mega Man! Mega Man! Uh, Lan. Mega Man, is that you? With the power of friendship, they guarded us. So how come the signal is blocked? Hi, Mega. Saved in a flash. Just one shot to destroy a sturdy barrier like that. Nothing can withstand this. Lan's father told us of, of, of the situation by mail. Only you can save the planet, Mega Man. Thank you all. Leave thanks to us. You're the planet's only hope. So go and do what's needed. We all believe in you, Lan. No matter what. Tex, Yai, Mail. You guys, by just being here, you made me feel invincible. Just wait and see. I'm going to save our world. Mega Man, let's get back to Naxa. Okay, thank you all. Alright. We don't have the World 3 door open code thing? Huh. I thought we would have gotten that from that little event right there. I guess get it soon, maybe? Well, either way, I still need more money to get unlockers. And what do you say? Oh, yeah, Dr. Hikari asked me to give this to you. 
Dad's note? Now hurry along. What is Dad's note? Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Trophy. Yeah, two trophies. Dad's note. Oh, I can't read it? Okay, fine. Adjustments have been completed. We will now prepare to send the Navi. Large voltages will be generated, so please move down from the platform. Y yes, you're right. Good luck. Okay, everyone, let's go down and leave Dr. Regal to work. <laughs> Mr. Hikari, is something wrong? Please go down. I just wanted to see your expression to make sure. This plan is terminated. What do you mean? Hold on. Failure of the first laser plan. Proposal of the Navi plan. Mega Man's deletion. And now transmission of your Navi to the asteroid. Everything has worked per out perfectly for your scheming. What are you saying? What do you need the asteroid for? Leader of the Dark Chips Syndicate Nebula? Dr. Regal? <laughs> well spotted, Mr. Hikari. But how will knowing my motive help you? Will you stop me? Stopping me won't prevent the approach of the asteroid. You don't have a shred of hope. You're wrong. Our hope has not been deleted. Huh? Lan? Dad? Sorry. Lan! I didn't count on him being here. Mega Man is alive. But you're too late already. Grin. Grin? Wait, did he say that or did he just do a weird smile? Wait for me. Wait there for me. Land, no, don't. Go back. Plummet to your doom. Huh? Ah! Run! What's happening? N not Nebula again! Len, are you okay? I'm okay. Uh, Dad, behind you! Ugh. Dad! Okay. My dear friends, it is I, Regal, leader of Dark Chip Syndicate Nebula, who shall own the asteroid. What did you say? You're the leader of Nebula? That title now sounds so dated. Today, as I reeled the asteroid's power, I shall be known as Master of the World, and a pure evil world, a world with no law, no borders, and no right or wrong. No one can stop me now. I will now execute our pl true desire, the plan of darkness. Go, Laser Man, I take the asteroid. Check in, laser man, execute. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get his voice in. I can almost smell the Earth's demise. <laughs> I don't believe it, Dr. Regal. Is there nothing we can do? Remember, Land, Dad's letter. It should contain a hint. Yes, you're right. Eh? Shack into the generator. The generator? There, that's it. Don't be stupid. It's too dangerous to jack into that. It has already been charged to tens of thousands of volts. Don't worry, somebody has to do something. 
We're going to s we're going to save this planet. Yes, Lan. Let's go, Mega Man. Are you ready? Sure am. Let's do it, Lan. Mega Man, are you okay? Yeah, the check-in was no problem. Good. Now get after Do Regal's Navi. Roger, operate me well. Ah, final dungeon. Ah, we should do this later. <laughs> Let's take the time to do cleanup. I was remember I was looking up where to get the code to open the skull doors, and I just found out where it is. So we're gonna go do a bunch of cleanup. Our fastest route would be Netflika. So, we need to get a lot of Zenny. Zenny to buy unlockers, which there's one in town four that I'm missing. That's, and there's gonna definitely be more in Undernet. I just don't know how many. I should probably pull up a list of purple mystery data just to have for reference. Uh, yeah, I better fight as many things as possible. Oh, he could turn them into grass, too. Okay. Now's the point where I really need Zenny. Wait, okay, hold on. I got rid of one sand trap. That's helpful. Working on getting rid of the other one. There it is. Let me teleport first. And done. I bet the best way we're going to get money is basically going to be through uh, mystery data. Clearly, I didn't have this memorized. Get rid of the Metars. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna go to Undernet, and we're probably gonna get a lot more money from there. We'll do a lot more exploring of the Undernet. We're gonna see how far we can explore. And see how many purple mystery data there are. And before we do the final, you know, the, the final dungeon, we're going to open every purple mystery data. Ooh, that's a lot of zenny. Now I kind of wish I had the program, uh, like, so I need collect, but I also need, uh, I think it's just zenny. To just only get Zenny, that would be nice. Alright. Let's actually explore Undernet. 
We'll look for green mystery data along the way. Oh, right, the teleporter's on the left. That's how we get over there. Up and left. Ah, dang it. Just kind of hoping it would get them both. And... No, I don't think we need to go after any chips. There's always a way. Uh, up and around. Grab this. Is it money? Nope, it's a virus. Maybe I should have had Untrap. Oh, that would have been good. Get Untrap going. Yeah, that would have actually been useful. There we go. And the spider cannot be poisoned for whatever reason. So the spider is clearly cheating. Unless the spider's part poison. It's a poison type itself. That would make sense. A single bug frag? I mean, I need them, but I kind of need the money. Okay. Let's use these wide shots. Spider first. Do a lot of damage to you. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Area two. Let's see what we can find. Hmm. Dead end. Sure, we'll go wood soul. That's only gonna help so much though. I can't be confused as wood soul. And not that not that this is needed, but I can now hit him with the Mega Buster if I needed to. Bubbler and three bug frags. I need I definitely need those. Oh, what do we got? Expand Ooh, okay. Bigger memory board. But I don't have much <laughs> Navi customizer parts as is, so. That's the one thing about this in comparison to Battle Network 3. For right now, I like, I, they really don't give you any uh, customizer parts, do they? Let's try this. Now, is there a way I could kill him without destroying the mystery data? I mean, I could... I would have to hit him with all three boomerangs. But that is a way of doing it. It would take a while, but I get the... I get the mystery data. Might as well, I guess. Not a big deal. Sadly, I can't use air hockey. It would totally break the mystery data. So that's not going to help. Yeah, I want the mystery. Yeah, it could, it could have anything. Bug fragments. Money. Chips. You never know. Anything could be in there. Oh, wait. I could give it a heat stroke. There we go. 
Corn Zenny. Meta Gel. Okay, I don't have that. I think that's new. Take it. Oh, okay, I can't go that way. Oh, green mystery data. I gotta make sure to grab that. Just double checking, like, do I want Aqua Soul? I almost hit them both. If only it lasted a little bit longer. Okay. Green mystery data. Virus. Hmm. How do I want to handle this? I could just go with Aqua Soul. I could them both with this. Yeah, we'll just hit him with this. We'll start with Boomerang, actually. If I don't move, they can't hit me. Oh no, I'm blinded. Now I can't see where they're gonna move to. Whatever shall I do? However, will I deal with this problem? Okay, just got some Zenny out of that. Dead end. I think this layout is exactly copied from one of the Undernet areas in Battle Network 2. It's like one of the last Undernet areas. Like six? Or, you know, six or seven. Like one of those. Um. Got it. Another green. What do we get? Vulcan 2H. Okay, it's not the same type of code, but it's another Vulcan 2. I'll take it. I think that's one, the one I could buy in Netopia. Speed Max. Okay, hold on. It would increase my rapid fire, but... Oh, wow, that's vi- That takes, like, nothing. 50, attack, charge, speed. Don't need that. This literally, like, takes up, like, no room. That's- That's a little ridiculous. Well, my speed's at level- My rapid's at level 5. Because that's what I need. Alright. Area 3. Charo Security Cube. Wait a minute. What? Charo Space Center Security Cube. Okay. Need to check Charo Space Center. Oh, is it the... The moon? The sun and moon stuff? 100%. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm still... Uh, I just accessed the... The final area, or the final, the asteroid for the final boss. But I'm doing cleanup. Uh, this is currently Switch. And I'm playing Blue Moon, as you can see, with the Woodman. Yeah, take more damage out of that. Why not get rid of it? Oh, they disappear after a while? Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. What do we got? HP. We'll take that. Let's see. Yeah, this is kind of the first time exploring the Undernet right now. So there's a bunch of new stuff, and I'm trying to get... I'm trying. I'm just trying to focus on cleanup right now. 
But how's it going, uh, Monzai? There we go. I gave that, uh, shrimp heat stroke. Ah, dang it. Lasted too long. I need to get one more HP memory and red sun. I can probably get multiplayer secret chips if I want to help with that. Um, so, yeah, you said you're playing Red Sun. I will need those, but I don't know when would be the best time to throw those in the free tournament. Isn't it better to save that for after I'm basically at this point in the second playthrough? Because I'm not fully sure how... I don't really know the best time to throw, uh, to set up the free tournament. That's nice. Star code for side bamboo. Yeah, right now, uh, I only have you know, Woodman, Aquaman, and Junkman. Oh, I guess, okay, we're going to four right now. Let's see. This is where I wanted to go anyway. There's a purple mystery data there. Okay. So there's two that I need at the moment. Town 4, Undernet 4. I can at least get one kill with this. But I fought Top Man, uh, Kendo Man, and I fought, oh, uh, what was the other one? Burn Man. So those are the ones I have fought so far. There's still, you know, one, f one more for each of the tournaments. I don't think it locked you out of scenarios like Top Man's fucking. No, I heard it uh, replaces them, right? I heard it just replaces those fights with uh, the other game's versions. Again, I, I don't fully understand how it works. We also need the Blue Moon ones too. To get the secret ships. Which, for that one, I would just need to do a uh, compare folder, basically, right? This would be good. Yeah, when I need to... I probably would have to compare folder to get those secret chips, right? I don't, I don't think I have that one. Okay, let's see. Nope, nothing there. Dead. Wait, what? <laughs> so you managed to find old Hiding Joe. You're pretty good, huh? As a reward, I'll give you some good information. Lotto number. <laughs> Racism. I heard it might add them to the pool, but if it replaces them out, I might be great with that. Yeah, I heard it replaces those, uh, those extra navvies. That's why I was gonna wait. Ooh, custom one. You could just add them to your free tournament? Oh, you can add the battle network. You can add the blue moon ones, okay. To get the secret chips, okay. Do that, perfect. There, an extra chip at the at the start of fights. That works. Okay. 
If I go up here, that's the purple mystery data I need to come back for. 2,000 zenny. Alright, we'll keep that. Dead end. Can't do anything there. Up here, what do you got? I'm a bug frag trader. Okay, air shoes. Navi plus 20, you're gonna need that. Anti. Anti magic. Oh, okay. Anti damage, basically. Okay. Gonna need that. Attack max. Ooh, and that takes up a lot of space. Signal red. That's our the second giga chip. I forget what that is in red sun. All I know is I don't really use signal red. It basically means when the stop right is red, in multiplayer mainly, the opponent cannot use battle chips. I think that's how it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to be pushed back. We'll do this. But yeah, I would like to confirm if getting the Red Sun Navis replaces or just adds them to the pool. Because if it replaces, I'm just going to wait till probably after the second playthrough. Are you Solar Boy? Who, who are you? You know of me? I'm Mega Man. I didn't really think that you... I didn't think that you really exist. But you're not a program, are you? No, I'm not. I'm on a journey beyond time and space. Hunting vampires, wherever they may be. Hunting vampires? Do you mean that in, inside that... I think his name was Shade Man. I managed to force him into this coffin. Once with my solar gun, uh, Gundel Soul. Shade Man? Have you fought him before? Yeah, I have. But when I fought him, he used the power of a dark chip to delete Shade... I used the power of a dark chip to, de to delete Shade Man. Denizens of the Dark may re return any number of times. To destroy them completely, they must be purified with this pile driver. But, what's wrong? That pile driver won't work without the sunlight. Light from the sun can't make this deep and can't make it this deep in the net. If we don't hurry, Shade Man will awaken from his slumber. I know. I wonder if I can't, if we can't somehow transfer some light from your from my operator lands pet an excellent idea no it won't work sunlight can be collected from the real world if i had a s sensor but i dropped it when i was fighting with shade man do you remember where you dropped it i think it was somewhere near the undernet 2 entrance i'll go and look for it is it proper for me to ask that of one i've just met but i but I suppose that given the circumstances. No problem. Leave the S sensor up to me. Let's hurry to Undernet 2. And to you two. Yeah, our first crossover with Boktai. I have never played Boktai. Monzai, have you ever played Boktai before? Is it any good? <laughs> There's a part of me that's kind of interested in trying them out. And of course, the third game never made it to America, so I would have to... You know, use the Nintendo PC for that one. Really? Uh, okay. There we go. Get out of here. Got bored, really? Huh. Hmm. I do have an interest in trying it out. However, uh, I don't know anything about it, really. That's just a dead end. What? Where do I need to go? Oh. I see. Okay. 
So what I need is we need to do the... We need to do this uh, Solar Boy side quest, the Baktai stuff. Um, I will just do this. This will be good. This is what'd you find out? Monzai. Okay, so we need to go to area two. Blue Moon sends Navis over to Red Sun and vice versa. When starting the next story tournament, the opposite version of Navis will appear in the roster. The scenarios are now playable in that version of the game. Take the spot of non-version exclusive Navi count. Yeah, basically the like top man. They'll take the spot of them. Okay, so they do replace them. If the non-version scenarios haven't been completed by the player yet, the opposite version of scenario will take priority uh, uh, appearing before them. It's the only way to fight the first version of Number Man and Fire Man. Hmm. Don't worry, impossible in their respective versions. Defeating them in the tournament will also make them appear in that. Yeah, I know that. As the, as games of opposite versions cannot trade records, this is probably a way to boost the secret. Hmm. Interesting. So they do replace, and I only fought one of them, and they take priority, apparently. In the GBA version, if you haven't started a st the story tournament, deleting a Navi from the raiding room will remove it from the participation tool. Yeah, okay. It will remain in the tournament even if they're deleted. Hmm. Until a different Navi is written in the same slot. Legacy collection. This feature is glitched, making it so Navis do not appear in brackets if there's an empty slot before them. Wait, what does that mean? Oh yeah, they do replace, so maybe we'll wait un to do that until doing the second playthrough. Hopefully, we should get the other navvies done. And if that's true, then maybe we can get, uh, we can get it all done by the third playthrough. Okay, I, I think the ads might still be playing, so I'm just letting that sit through for a second. It seems like we need to open this up, too. That would be helpful. Where am I? Undernet 3. Okay. So somewhere in Undernet 2 is the what we need. Near the entrance. So we'll head back. Okay. 
I can make... There's no issues here. Done. It's weird how Invis stops you from being confused. That makes no sense to me, but oh well, that's what it is. Okay, give it a little bit. Oh, we got mine! Okay. Now that's a new chip. Oh, there he is. Okay, we need to talk to him. Sheesh! The treasure that I found was stolen from me. It was shiny as the sun. I could have sold it for a lot of money. The guy who took it is from Undernet 6. I'll find him. Alright, we need to find a way to Undernet 6. Which we need to find a way from... Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, we just need to find a way to Undernet 6. I think we need to go to Undernet... Back to Undernet 3. And from there... Oh, okay. And from Undernet 3, we can find a way to uh, Undernet 6. That's what I'm trying to remember. Um... There we go. Okay. There we go. Killed the spider without destroying the mystery data. Can we get Gun Soul? No. Well, let's just get rid of all these. I want the mystery data. So, okay. Uh, when it comes to the whole... Uh, it's not wise to do it until you get the last exclusive Navi. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So we're going to hold off on that until afterwards. Whether it takes a... Whether we can set that up after the second playthrough or if it's uh, after the third one. Because it is randomized. Oh, wait, I think we need to take this path and then go back this way. Aqua Soul. Wait, no, okay, hold on. Sorry, uh... Oh, I messed that up. I think it can replace Natalie's in terms of having. Even if it's the same Really? Huh. Hence why you can get Fireman V1. Hmm. So. Is there a way to manipulate what. who you're gonna fight in the tournament? Or is it like. Once you start a playthrough, it's already preset. Um, Because if there's a way for me to manipulate to get the other ones in the second playthrough, I'll probably mess with that. Let me start the play- oh. The Navi's override it. Oh, new chip. Hmm. Okay, we need to somehow get into that area. 
I'm trying to remember the way through this, through the undernet. Um. Let's go wood soul, and we'll throw this in. So maybe if I see I'm, that I'm gonna fight, like say Top Man, who I already fought then maybe I could swap it to one of the other navvies so I'm not repeating, but I'm pretty sure this game is laid out in a way where it's like, no, if you fought this guy within the first three rounds, we're not going to make you refight him. Okay, there's another teleporter somewhere I need to find. No secret path. Yeah, there's not going to be a secret path over here. Alright, how do I get to the other teleporter? Let's see. Might be better with the opposite strategy. How s uh, what do you mean? Are you saying, before starting the next playthrough, get the Red Sun Navvies, and then if I see that I'm up against a Red Sun Navvy, delete it and maybe it'll be the one I'm missing? And reload a save? Do you know if that works? Just checking for invisible wall uh, pathways. That's not be part of it. If you've seen the Blue Moon Tournament, you're gonna want to face Kendo Man, but he's been replaced with Search Man. Replace Search Man in the free tournament slot with Aqua Man, for example. Okay. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, okay. Um. But, uh, okay, further question. Is it preset on which navvies get replaced with? So like, is in your example, you said Kendo Man and Search Man. Is it guaranteed that Search Man replaces Kendo Man, or is it just random? Due to which only filling the last six slots might prevent Navis from being replaced. Period. Hmm. Okay, wait a minute. How do I get to Undernet 6? Okay, I'm missing something. How do I get to Undernet 6? It's been too long, clearly. I'll give this magic lamp a heat stroke, though. Wait, is it this? Oh, is it here I need to get to? Wait a minute, I don't know. From the yeah, I had a feeling it's in here, but I'm miss I'm like missing something.
But yeah, in my question, does Search Man always replace Kendo Man, or is there a chance that uh, uh, Search Man replaced Cold Man? Okay, I think we found the, I think we found the split. Yeah, there it is. There we go. I got a little bit lost, but we found the way. I think the teleporter is down there. I saw a blue mystery data I need to get. Mm. I want to keep my times too. Oh, that worked out. Save before I start the tournament. Check the roster. Cover 120. Actually, let's check my heal chips very quick. Because I could probably do better. Mm, yeah. Let's... If I'm going to have two heal chips... I don't use them that much anyway. We'll do that for now. And if I see Searchman or Thunderman, and they're over the Navi I want to fight, reset my save and delete them. Or delete them and check, okay. Yeah, we could try that. Undernet 6. I hope you recognize this area from Battle Network. Yeah, this is the area that's just copy and paste Battle Network 2. Oh, okay. This shouldn't be much trouble. That sounds like it would work. I would prefer to... I would like to have confirmation if it does work. But we can always try it. Should give priority for the nuns. And yeah, they give priority for them. Like you said. So if Yeah, we could tr we could try that. We can see if that works. Cause like you said, the roster is determined basically as soon as you start a playthrough. And as long as I save before I check the roster, we should be good. P, P, Q, and R. Let's see if I live. I killed one. Never mind. The best case is to only fill the last six slots. Hmm. Definitely need to mess around with that because uh, I haven't looked into that. Oh, but thanks for the follow, Monzai Man. Thanks for the follow. That's not where I need to go. Area 7. Hope you enjoy the background noise at the very least. Um, wait, okay, hold on. Yeah, I don't want to be sliding around, and then we'll use this. Ah. Wait, how can I help you? I'm playing the Switch version. There's no crossplay. Oh, good reference. I see. And that's kind of... That's part of the reason why this is here. Right. 
Okay. So go this way. I'm making another save because I'm low on health. I'm my guinea I'm the guinea pig. Oh no. <laughs> like my treasure. I got it off some guy in Undernet too. Look how it shines. Almost like the sun. What? You want this? Hmm, let's see. I guess I could sell it for 10,000 zenny. You got 10,000 zenny? Yes, I do. Sure, rich for a little kid. Okay, it's a deal. Here you go. Good deal for you, eh, kid? <laughs> Alright. Before I leave... Do, okay, wait a minute. Do I have... I do have a full energy. We're gonna use that. So... Before I head back to area four, I should check area f uh, the uh, area seven and see what's there. Because I know I need to buy two unlockers. I know that much. Ooh, wait, this will work. Try not to stand in the middle so he doesn't delete. Ah, he deleted it. Whatever. I'm gonna battle network three though. Isn't there area seven? I saw a pathway. Hold on. I saw a pathway that I could have gone to. Oh, program shop, what do you got? Oil body? That's gonna be useful at some point. I can buy more? Wow. Foot shoe, that's nice. Reflect. Oh, I need that at some point. I need to buy that. It was so. Reflect was so good in Battle Network 3. Oh, it leads to another section of 5. Okay. Big dark hole leads to the black earth, the world of darkness. It spews forth dark power, preventing anyone from entering it. Only the cho the chosen one who bears the five evil chips may enter. Ever since the statue appeared in Undernet 5, the dark power has been increasing. It is tuned to that power. If that statue is not destroyed, then even having the five evil chips will not allow you to enter. Basically, I can't I can't go in here. There's a powerful dark force here. I can't go on. Yeah. That's normally in Battle Network 2, the Portal to Undersquare, if I'm correct. Now, let me check that uh, other pathway. I want to know how many more uh, unlockers I need. Strats we on land the gameplay itself. Oh, uh, how so? Yeah, when I did when I played Battle Network three on stream, I also got all of the Navi customizer parts. Ice stage Flashman. Oh, that's a good one. Folder back, full cust, Alec, and a bunch of rats. That's not bad. Okay, yeah, you're right. This is another section of Undernet 5. Okay. Oh, look! There's a statue of base! Okay. Let's go... Yeah, I, I'm aware. I... Th I was just checking to see if there was, if there was like an unlocker that I need from here. Because so far, I think I only need two. Let's get rid of you first. Okay. 
first. Okay. Actually, this is all I'll need. How much money do I have? Okay. All right. Let's go and leave. Apparently, there's a shortcut in Sharo. Let's go there first. Stocking up on unlockers as much as I can before next play. Uh, that is true. But that's a lot of money grinding. You know? I might just have to get them, like, as soon as I get to Castello. Yeah, there it is. That's the thing, if I tried, I would be doing a lot of money grinding right now just to buy a bunch of unlockers just to get them slightly sooner. Would you happen to be Mega Man? We Sharo Navvies will give you our full cooperation. I was going to give you the code to this HP, but unfortunately the Navi carrying it went to the undernet in search of a nebula. He probably won't be back for a while. If you need this HP code urgently, you can seek him out in the undernet. He's the same type of Navi as I am. So, so you should be able to recognize him if you see him. I'm sure you know you know this, but the Undernet is a dangerous place. If you go there, be sure to go fully prepared. My colleague said he'll go around for a spin. So he should be in an area where he could spin around. Uh, spinning. Would that? Wouldn't that just be under six? I don't know. Massive quantity of data will be sent from the satellite. It will exceed my processing capability, but I'm not the one to complain. Yeah, there's no spinning platforms. So, yeah, that's a little confusing. I got some semi. Oh, do I need to find the guy first to be able to get that open? Uh, if, if that was the case, I could have found him at the same time when I was doing everything. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. All right. Um... Let's see. Since I'm going all the way to Undernet 4 anyway, I will I'll buy one unlocker and open that one. I can only think of two unlockers that I need. One for Town 4 and Undernet 4. I think I got everything else. And I guess I would just go here for now. The interpret spinning as squares? What? I thought it was just like the Cavera belt squares. Okay, we bought one unlocker. Time to head back to Undernet. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Uh, Africa. Again, I haven't played this game in like 10 years, so some of the details are a little fuzzy. And you know, you need a lot of money for Battle Network 4. Because of the multiple playthroughs. You gotta get the the cyber... You have to spend, like, what? 12000 for the cyberboard itself. 10000 for the solar gun, if you wanted to do that now. Per playthrough, it's just a lot of money needs to be spent. Alright, I need to head to under four. I also need to head to... Uh... I'm gonna switch minus the free tournament stuff. Oh, really?
Uh, uh, we'll go with this. Yeah, so I've been treating my bow. Whenever I stream games, I tend to put a break in between just so I avoid burnout. But like when I played through what when I played through Battle Network 1, the Legacy Collection wasn't even out yet. So outside of the free tournament I mentioned so, so, Yeah, six times. Yeah, three per play playthrough. No, I get it. I'm just gonna let you know though. On my GBA cartridge of Battle Network 4 Blue Moon, I kept going. I think I'm on... I have the ability to go to my 10th playthrough. I, I was a huge fan of Battle Network 4 back then. <laughs> okay, down here, this way... game they made that basically yeah it, it's really the multiple playthroughs and the lack of a plot that's usually the complaints because let's be honest this is the weakest plot out of everything so far it doesn't help that like the story itself basically pauses whenever a tournament happens Yeah, the fact that, you know, you'll lose a point of H max HP when you ever use a dark chip and there's no way to get it back. Yeah, uh, I don't like that. There's like no reason to use it. Well, okay, there is a reason to use it once, though. Right. I like how Battle Network 5 handles it. Five does it way better. Right. Bubbler. You lose access to some of the best stats and strats in the game. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there is a, a good strat, though, if you... Let's say you have 1,000 HP. You use a dark chip a single time. Then you'll be at 999 HP. And with that strategy, you can use Number Man's secret chip. And if you're at full HP, you'll deal a lot of damage. Yeah, with Number Ball. But that's like the only strategy that benefits from using a dark chip, and even then, that really only works once. There he is. Okay, we're going to him. Okay. Might as well take the opportunity to heal. I agree. The minus one HP will bug me more than the benefits of Number Ball. Yeah, pretty much, because if you have Number Ball in your folder, 
then you go to the three tournament and it's just like oh number ball 99 damage per hit and it hits like what five times or something like that I mean it's funny but you know not what you need I would use gun soul but I want to be able to hit the fishy in the back there we go. Or the, not the fishy. Speaking of fishies, they're not here. I just realized fishies are not in the game. We don't have dash. Well, if it isn't Mega Man, I didn't expect to meet you in a place like this. Huh? You came to see me? Oh, the P code. I'm sorry for, to bring you such a dangerous place. I'm going to look into nebula activity in this area for a bit. Mega Man, the future of this planet depends on you and you alone. Yeah, he's totally spinning. I, I don't get it. Yeah, that seems like a... Not a typo, but a mistranslation. Well, I could use that code anytime, so I'm not worried about it. We'll, go, we'll check out that section later. Actually, I might not even need to. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can hit them both. Perfect. At least he was easy to find. Okay. Let's get this unlocker. And let's give... Let's, let's finish the side quest. Okay, if I do this, I can at least get two of them out. Maybe all three. We'll see. Ah, uh, no. I timed it wrong. That was horribly wrong! My strategy was awful. I didn't even get the spider. That was the worst I could do with that strategy. Oh, no. My strategy was solid, but then I messed up. I really need a better, a stronger buster for this. I don't know if I was getting up to stream occasionally. Oh, that'd be nice. String your 100% progress. It's always fun to go through. Let's first take care of the unlocker. I have never played 4.5. So I don't really know how that goes. I also haven't played 5 real operation either. Yeah, that's also something I could try out. I also haven't played uh, uh, Operation Shooting Star. Ooh, Guardian! Oh, yes! Perfect. I love it. That's going to be useful for a lot of stuff. All right, let's go help Jingo. Uh, yeah, Buck Fry Trader, that's right. I I got your solar sensor. Yeah, yeah, Guardian's basically gonna be permanently here. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna leave the folder unless I get like I'm pretty sure Bodyguard is still in the game, right? Because it, uh, Guardian has a weird code, you know. Can't always use it. Django, here. And I gave the solar sensor. I feel the sunlight. Now I can use the pile driver. Thanks, Mega Man. Hurry, Django. He's going to recover soon. 
Okay. Can you hear me? Hold your pet up to the sun when I shout out. I'll give it a try. Ready, Django. Here we go. Tayo! No good. The immortal will escaped. Return the coffin to the pile driver center. You can count on me. Oh, there's a chain there. How convenient. Tayo! Did you really think such an attack could defeat us, the Dark Denizens? Hmm. The solar pile is being repelled. This is bad. Return to darkness, Shade Man. Gah! With the power of lemons, Mega Man will win. He's recoiling. Now, Django! Forever will I arise while there is darkness in the world. <laughs> he lost to the power of Sunny D. We defeated the vampire thanks to you, Mega Man. Don't mention it. But Shade Man said, Forever will I arise. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, but Solar Pile did a number on him. Now he could barely use his dark power. We'll defeat him again. And if he attacks, we'll keep fighting while there's a sun. That's right. Jingo, I sense immortals to the south. Well, Mega Man, we should get going. A new battle awaits. Play Bok Tai to find out more. <laughs> okay, let's meet again. Yes, r let's use this if dark denizens ever come. When the we're not a when they're we're not around. Sorry, I'm sure you'll find it very useful in battle. Gun Soul Three. Ooh. Thanks. You may once again face dark denizens, but you mustn't give in to your to the darkness. The sun will rise tomorrow. Remember that, and you will conquer darkness. Goodbye. He has very tiny legs. Farewell. May the sun be with you. Yeah, always safe. Brain is a weird code, but 200 damage can usually take care of most viruses. Oh yeah, definitely. It hits all of them. Pierces most guards. Yeah. Add for sure. Yeah. We will if we don't give in to darkness. The sun will rise tomorrow. Yeah, this is the whole reason. Inside there's nothing. Or so it seemed! Something's flashing inside the coffin. The nebula code. That's the whole reason why we did this. Yeah, it's never fun to run all the way back here just to grab that. So, let's go and grab the... We, there was a nebula door here. Let's go grab that first. I saw one on the way here. See? Oh, the Union of the Six Souls. Okay, it just... It's a skull door. I mean, come on. You, don't blame... I mean, come on. Oh, is that how you're supposed to get to Undernet 5? Is that how you're supposed to get there? Because there's nowhere else to check here, right? Okay. It looks like that's it, and I already got Guardian. So let's leave. Might as well take the opportunity to go here and set up the homepage thing. Because why not? Not that I don't I don't think I would really need it. Okay. 
Okay. Don't let us down. Well, I... I got the code. See, I got the code. I got that opened. Oh, now I talk to you. Would you like to create a link? Yep. Space banner. There we go. I still don't have ducks. How could I know? How could I not know? My back in my day, all the kids know the difference between nebula door and skull doors. Oh no. We had to walk 15 miles in that battle, in the snow. The candy only cost a nickel. We wore an onion on our belt, which was the style back in the day. Oh, how did I forget the onions on the belts? No wonder I, like, did not really care to wear belts back then. I just wear wore pants that actually fit me. Okay, let's buy a sub... Uh, let's buy one more unlocker. Okay. Okay, so. There's the one purple mystery data in Town 4. That lets me, f uh, that's the last unlocker that I know of. And because we just got the Nebula door thing, we're gonna do cleanup. And yeah, uh, Manzai, I wouldn't mind testing out the whole free tournament thing. Like, get that set up for, like, the, for the second playthrough. Don't know why I'm fighting these guys. It was an easy kill. Yes, obviously, the Blue Moon one, like, I could do the Blue Moon ones at any time. It's more the Red Sun ones I'm more worried about. And we there we go. And we get Buck Stop. Ah, uh, from a uh, unlocker. Stops the occurrence of bugs. Don't need that right now. But it's nice to have. So, did I... Okay. I am aware that, apparently, if you don't get the unlockers on your first playthrough, when you do a second playthrough, it's still the rewards of first playthrough. The unlockers come back on s later playthroughs, but they carry different stuff. So that's why I'm trying to, you know, get every unlocker possible. Is... Is that the same problem with these nebula doors? Or am I just worrying over nothing? Okay, blue mystery does have that problem too, okay. So it was a good idea to get the nebula door, okay. Hmm. I want to say I got all of the blue mystery datas, but it's hard to tell. Hmm. What, you know what, what I might have to end up doing, uh, what I might do is pull up a list of blue mystery data and check everywhere. Yeah, I, I see the typo. I see it. Okay, wait. Uh, how many scolders are there? Yeah, I don't think anyone wants that that particular chip. Except maybe Junkman, I don't know. 
Would Junk Man want that one? Okay. Nothing that way. Okay, I think we're good. Also, uh, what's the best way to get bug fragments? Do you know? Just the green mystery data in battles in Undernet or something? Alright, there's a skull door on the right side. Four hundred damage. That's ridiculous. Jealousy, okay. All I did was find a battle with the green mystery data, use a lock enemy and just do, oh, okay. So that way you always get the battle with the green mystery data, okay. That's probably what we're gonna have to do with, with bug fragments. Sadly, I probably won't mess with that until probably the third playthrough. Because, let's be honest, that money that would be used to uh, get the lock enemies could be used for, you know, unlockers. Yeah, it's better off waiting. Better off waiting for the third playthrough anyway. But you saw how many bug frags you need anyway. You're better off waiting. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Go down there. No skull doors. Okay. Was there a skull door in area two? Hmm. I think there was. Maybe? I don't know. Or am I thinking area three? No, I might be thinking area three. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll just run. There we go. As far as I know, this is the last one I need to use. Wind rack. Okay. So I think any more money I get, I might just stock up on unlockers and I don't need to go to undernet not through here anyway that guy just tells me about the lotto number so we're good all right we're finally getting to really use up this cleanup all right I I didn't see a skull wall it's that ah, I can't speak score skull door jeez Okay. Honestly, if they're like fast kills, I'll do it. Thank you, Guardian. Too bad I can't put you on a shortcut. Alright, let's check around here a little bit more. Can't go up there. Nope. Normally, I'd be all over buying HP memories, but 
with how this game works, you really just want unlockers. As many as possible. Say, see, plan is going on top secret, blah blah blah. Okay, blah blah blah. Um, Skulldor is probably in area, it's either two or three, maybe both. But then we'll check the other areas. I don't remember if uh, Netopia has one, but we're gonna have to double check. Oh, I'm didn't mean to grab that. I think I was supposed to grab Guardian. Yeah, that was the plan, but I grabbed the wrong ship by mistake. Yeah, I... Oh. I didn't have Guardian. I don't know why I thought it was Guardian. My brain thought it was Guardian. Okay. Okay. Down to here. Down to the round. Subship, yeah, you also had unlockers. Yeah, uh, lock enemies cost so much money. You really need that money for other things. Oh god. Mm, yeah. Area 2, we'll see if there's anything here. I'm pretty sure I got all the blue mystery data. I thought I was pretty thorough. Be sure. Yeah, exactly. Like, now that you told me about how the blue mystery data works the same as the, as the purples, now I want to be more careful. I want to be more thorough. I don't think I had that. Keeps that. Can't go through there. This just led over here. And this just led to a blue, I think. Yeah, nothing over here. Oh, right, Gunsoul 3. Okay, I need to... Need to get rid of them now. This HP Mary, that's only accessible if you get Cold Man scenario. I didn't get Cold Man, so I guess that means I missed out on it. I got Kendo Man. Did they really lock behind it? Lock at HP memory behind Cold Man scenario? Looks like we'll check area three. We move forward to the yes of course but after you get the hp memory for the first time if you were to do cold man scenario again what chip do you get or what what do you get Place it with Zenny or Bug Frags? Okay. So, that doesn't matter then. I was so worried. So, if you miss blue mystery data in one playthrough, let's say it had a HP memory on a normal blue mystery data, like one you don't need to be in a specific, like, tournament story arc, is it replaced with something that's actually important?
Because if it's just Zunny and Be Bug Frags, I might not be that worried about it. I mean, it'll probably actually it would just help with further playthroughs to buy more stuff and more Bug Frags. Hmm. Yeah, there was one there. A purple mystery data there. That's the Bug Frag Trader. Yeah, it's all about the playthroughs. Basically, I, if I can, I would like not to go into a fourth playthrough. You know? There has to be another skull door. Okay, I can't do that. Is there really no skull doors in park area? I thought there would have been one. I think I'll just run. Huh. Okay. I still might pull up a list of blue mystery data and maybe double check. You know, just be very thorough. I know in the Water God statue, which I did go through, like all of the blue mystery data in there is just Zenny. And even then, it's like very low amounts of Zenny, Zenny, so it's really not worth it. I think they did that on purpose where it's like, oh, if you didn't get the scenario, we're not locking you out of anything like super good. Go back into the water god. I really hate going through the water god. Wait, full cost is in there? I, I, I missed a blue mystery day. Oh, okay. Dang it. Yeah, okay. We'll definitely have to do more cleanup. I did not think Water God I had anything else other than just Zenny. Really? You didn't get that one? Huh. That was the first match I got for this one. Every match went in this order on this playthrough. It was some sort of basic navi, whether it was a normal, a heal, or like a, a not like a dark navi or a punk navi, whatever, a purple one. Then the second fight was one of my soul fusions, and then the final match was a uh, one of the. Ones that are not exclusive, like Top Man, Kendo Man, and Burner Man. Oh, sorry, not Burner Man, Burn Man. Oh, that's a lot of Zenny. See what I mean? That's kind of what I'm thinking of double checking all Blue Mystery Aya. Because if I find them again in later playthroughs, you get a lot of you get a lot better stuff. Well, money and bug frags anyway. All right, what do we get? Okay, I could maybe throw that in. I'm not using this much at all. I don't need that. There we go. Is something. I don't have m much for Navi customizer stuff. Okay. They might overwrite chips or reg ups or even spin programs. Right. That's why I gotta be very thorough. Okay, we're gonna check Yum Land for a Skull Door. 
Okay, let me double... Oh, nope, there, there is one here. Good thing I double backed. Is that super... Is that super armor? That is super armor. Uh, I can't throw it in. Okay. So we got that skull door. There would only be one per area if there is. There's not two skull doors in a single area. Okay. Let's see if there's one in here. Oh yeah, bucks. I do have buck stop actually. That was in one of the. I think it was in a purple mystery data. But I also don't need super armor. amazing. Okay. Nothing up there. Nothing over here. Man, can I run? I don't want to do this. I'm not seeing any more skull doors. Not in Yum Land. Come, Guardian. There we go. Not seen one. And I want to say there wasn't one in Netfrica. But we'll double check Netfrica. Are there more skull doors in Undernet? Because I might have to double check Undernet. Okay, yeah, there isn't one here. Really? Is there really only like four skull doors? ACDC 1 and 3. Sharo Natopia. The secret shop at Undernet 1 in the Purple Mystery Day. I did get that. I did get that one. Only four skull doors? Really? You think? I thought there would have been more. Yeah, we don't need to go in there. I'll double check Netfrica, but I think we found all the skull doors. Oh, there's le there was less than I thought. Water guard. Water guard. Guard. God. Jeez. Can't speak. Um, actually, you know what? I don't want to do this fight. Never mind. 
I have to do this fight. The game is forcing me to. Let's at least go off the soul. over here. Hmm. Actually, no. It's better off to do this. Okay, good. Nothing. This just leads to Undernet. And I don't think there's any skull doors in Undernet. I think we got it all. If that's the case, I think. I think I know what we're doing now. Okay, yeah. You know what? We'll Okay, here's what I'm thinking we'll do. I think I'm going to call it for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to pull up a list of all blue mystery data and purple mystery data, and we're just going to be very thorough and just look everywhere. And then we'll uh, meet the boss. Uh, Manzai Man, if you ever get a moment, I wouldn't mind doing the whole getting the Red Sun navvies. If you ever get a chance, just let me know. But I'm going to start wrapping it up. Because I wouldn't mind testing out that theory of getting the Red Sun navvies saved before a tournament and then just swap them out. But yeah, anyway. Uh, thanks for everyone who showed up. I do these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams on, that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at... Uh, they're on YouTube at Scottbot64 Stream Archives. There is a link in the about page. Or is my theory as well? Uh, I mean, I don't know. We can always try it out, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll look into it. Maybe I'll just try to look into it. But anyway. Uh, have a good day. Later. <laughs>